All right, we are back, finally. I just woke up, <laughs> sadly. So I'm a little woozy, not gonna lie about that. Um, you can probably hear it in my voice too. A little bit more, more laid back. A little bit more laid back, starting up, you know? This is what happens when your alarm clock decides not to work on it. Why the fuck is it so cold in my room? I woke up. My throat's dry as hell. Need some water. I just hit my microphone. Alright. Making sure everything is working as intended. It seems like it. Alright. Now. Phoenix Rice Justice for All. Where we last left off, we found out that Matt Ungard was truly Dio. Found out that he is guilty. He is not the murderer, technically, but he is the one who sent out a hit on Juan Cordea. And now we have to stall the trial until, until uh, Detective Gumshoe and his and his security force, his his great Sentai power, they can go and find Maya in time, and hopefully we can get a guilty verdict. For once, we actually want a guilty verdict, but not yet. That guy is evil. That guy is a pain in the ass. So after a lot of dispute and shit going on in the trial, we have come to a 10 minute recess. And right as of right now, we're still holding out. We're still holding out. So, Engard, you Dio looking motherfucker. Oh, I knew it. It was a good. Wait, what? Oh, I knew it was a good idea to hold your to hold her hostage. Don't you agree, Mr. Lawyer? But I never thought in your desperation you tried to pin the guilt on onto uh. uh eh. Keep. I always want to say Andre when I see that name. Adrian. Jesus. I gotta remember that. I swear, this demon will pay. He does look like a demon. Mr. Nick! Pearls? Where's Mia? I don't know. A really strong power suddenly called her away. Oh, a really strong power, huh? Damn, Maya must be up to some shit. A really strong power? My phone! Oh, Mr. Nick, your phone is... It's from Gumshoe. Bleep. How's it going? Have you been hanging in there, pal? Yeah, sort of. We just barely found something to latch onto. Phew, that's good, pal. What about you? Anything yet? Have you figured out where the killer and Maya are? Hmm. We still don't have any leads, but... What? We don't have any more time. If we just had one, even a single clue, it would be really helpful. I was only able to come to this. I was only able to come this far because I keep thinking to myself, "I gotta keep the trial going until Maya's been rescued." But I have just ran out of luck this time. Is all our hope for naught? A tent? Huh? A tent? I can see a circus tent. M Mia. Looks like Maya was unconscious until just a few minutes ago. As soon as she woke up, she called for me. So it was Maya that called you away. She locked in a dusty little room right now. But I could but I could see a circus tent inside the window about 30 feet away. 30? Ugh, 300 feet away. Gumshoe! Is there a circus tent in town right now? There's only one, pal. The very big circus. Maya's somewhere within 300 foot radius to the uh, of the tent. What? Okay, hold on a second, pal. Hey, draw a circle on the map. About 300 foot radius from the main tent. Hurry. And I can see a mailbox under the window just outside. Gumshoe! There's also a mailbox! Hmm, okay. What else? What else, Mia? I'm sorry. But it was a very small window. I couldn't see anything in it. I couldn't see anything else. Felt like I was in an old office building. Maybe the third floor or so? I heard of her. Uh, I heard of her? <laughs> I heard her. No office building. Good stuff, pal. Okay, just hang in there. Just a little longer, pal. Wish us luck. Good luck. I'll carry you. I'll call you later. 
so don't let the battery die. Okay, Val? Mia, Maya's not hurt, right? She's in a pretty bad state, Phoenix. She's been starved. Gumshoe, please. Looks like we're out of time. Are you alright, Phoenix? It's only a matter of time before Maya's rescuer. her. Mm. I can do this. I just have to make the trial last a little longer. I am... <laughs> my voice right now is in no mood to... to, to do things. <laughs> Mainly because I am... I'm still like... Reeling back from waking up inside of a cold ass room with my throat just all fucked up. You know that feeling when you wake up in the cold, and your throat's dry as hell, and you want to kill someone for it? Court will now reconvene. The killer, the man who murdered the victim, handed this to his client. From this, one obvious question arises: Why? Why this particular item? I believe the I believe the answer to the question will be pro provided. Uh, God, I believe the answer to the question will provide us with the name of the real culprit. Now then, the prosecution calls the defendant's messenger, Adrian Andrews, to the stand. Currently, the witness is accused of tampering and obstruction of justice. However, you have been called to the witness stand today to to a. Uh, Eh, ah, to ascertain who exactly is guilty of murder. I understand. Very good. Now, have you ever seen this bear before, Miss Andrews? Of course I have. You seen it before? That's right. It's only natural that the witness has. Miss Andrews, could you please enlighten the court to the bear's secrets? All right. Does the bear have the suicide note inside of it? Why does she? But why? Why does she know about the bear? Bear figurine. Actually, this is an elaborate puzzle. If you know the correct order, it can be taken apart a piece at a time. At its, uh, at its center is a small cavity with just enough room to store a small item, like a suicide note. Because of its complexity, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. You really can uh, you really can't tell it uh you really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. I just woke up. If I if my reading shit, blame it on that. So this figurine is a container of sorts, is it? Yes. Looks can be deceiving, wouldn't you agree? Yes, this is super this is superb. Craftsmanship. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. You may begin your cross examination, Mr. Wright. Looks like there really was something to the bear after all. I I can feel I can feel my voice just like being so laid back and sluggish. <laughs> I do not feel like I'm up to speed to be doing this. Oh god. Alright. Now I need to latch on to some maybe I can just press everything. I don't see nothing wrong with her testimony. Technically speaking, that was Yon. Technically speaking, and nothing's really wrong with anyone's testimony. I just gotta f buy time. A puzzle. That's right. Hmm. But it looks like an ordinary figurine. True enough. To people who don't know, I'm sure they would never guess this was a puzzle. So, what kind of puzzle is it exactly? If you know the correct order, it can be taken apart one piece at a time. Ew. Ah, fuck. <coughs> oh no, I'm sneezing. So you can take it apart, and how would and how would one go about doing that? Well, you first take its tail to the right and then push it. Oh yes, I see. After that, the arm and legs are free to move and can be removed. Oh, this is most interesting. A boy in his new toy. It's like he's five all over again. Hey Breezy, how's it doing? <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. How was your uh how was your Mary Chrysler? Was it good? Yeah, a good time. Me, I was surrounded by a bunch of kids and nerf guns and I wanted to kill myself. Oh, don't mind me. Go ahead and carry on. I think you lost it. So, what do you find after you take the puzzle apart? 
At the center is a small cavity with just enough room to store a small item. And how do you know about this? I know because I was the one who bought it. Huh? It was a souvenir from one of uh from one of uh, it was a souvenir from when a friend and I went to Switzerland. Then this this was a present from you? That's right. It was a puzzle in the shape of a bear, so I thought it would be perfect for Juan. So it was a present from Miss Andrews. Witness, let's continue with your testimony. It was good, spend time with your family. That's great. <laughs> That's amazing. Me, uh, one of the, uh, my, my, uh, sister's child, his birthday is like, uh, is Christmas Eve. So they didn't do nothing for Christmas Eve, but they did everything for Christmas and the day after. And trust me, I had to work those nights too, so I couldn't get no sleep. Just a million kids running around. Pain in the ass. <laughs> it was, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Even right now, some of the kids are still laying about around here. I hope none of them wake up. Because for some reason, they like to wake up and start crying immediately. Because of complexity, you don't know the order. You can't open the bear. So, who exactly knew how to solve this puzzle? Only the two of us, Juan and myself. It was a souvenir from Switzerland, so I doubt there was. So I doubt there are many people with the same bear in this country. But it looks like it can be easily broken, especially if someone wanted to get what's inside. Well, it's a toy, but it can never be the same again once it's been broken. <laughs> Make no sound. <laughs> I hope. Well, that's not why I'm being kind of quiet. It's because I just woke up. <laughs> I just woke up. That's why I started the fucking. I started a goddamn stream late. About like what, forty minutes late? Oh man, that's a that's a big one. <laughs> you really can't tell. It's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. And my voice is in no condition to speak louder than this at the moment. It has to like warm up like a car in the cold. You gotta like get the engine warmed for like five minutes. Who else knows that this bear is actually a small container or jewelry box? I never told anyone. And as long as Juan never told anyone either, then only the two of us knew. The two of you? Huh. Then of course, that means Mr. Ungar didn't know, right? I think this is about all I'm going- I think this is about all I'm gonna get for now. Figurine has been updated. Winnie the Pooh got some secrets. Well, Mr. Wright, I think even you've come to realize hmm, that there is one very important fact we have uncovered, and this is, this bear is actually a jewelry box. Hmm, yes. Now that we have agreed to this point, there's only one logical question that can come next, and this is, what is inside this box? It's a suicide note. What's inside? And that's right. And that's what we are going to find out. Uh, from our next witness. Eh, from our next witness. From, eh, can't speak. Oh, I'm dying. You're the only one who can open this. Please. I mean, you can still just smash it inside with a hammer. There's a, there's a painful silence hanging over the courtroom. All eyes are on Miss Andrews. Now she solves the puzzle and takes the bear apart. Click. I've opened it. Is this what you wanted? Is that really a suicide note? What is that? It looks like a note. I don't think we need to guess uh, at what that is, do we, Mr. Wright? It's the suicide note. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The suicide note. The note left by Juan Cordea's former manager, Celeste Impax. Until now, no one knew of its whereabouts, but just as we suspected, it was hidden. Hidden by the victim, Juan Cordea himself. It seems Celeste Impacts had a very beautiful handwriting, and she just as beautifully signed her own name on the document. This is most definitely the note she left right before she committed suicide. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. 
It all comes, it all comes out. Witness, do you know about this? Yes, I did. I heard all about it from Juan. When I discovered his body, I looked for the bear. Was it in the, was it in the guitar case? I wanted to destroy the note before it became public. But I couldn't find it anywhere. Because it's already been taken by the killer. Everything is going, everything's going to Mr. Edgeworth's pace. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat. I'm fucking dying here. Oh my god, don't sleep in the cold. That's bad. Do not sleep in the cold. So now that the suicide note has been found, what's the next logical question? What's written on the note? That's right. At least, that's what I would think. Now then, I believe it is only appropriate the contents of this note be made known. I can't stop you, can I? I went through so much just to get my hands on it. And I was going to burn it for her sake. I'm deeply sorry, but I can't allow you to persuade me to, uh, persuade me to stop. Your Honor, if you could please read the contents of the note aloud. Very well. Get to it, Your Honor. <clears throat> the judge's voice rings loud and clear through the, the deathly, uh, deathly silent courtroom. In her note, Celeste's impacts left to us a record of all what if, uh, all that has happened to her. About being used and then thrown away by Engard. About being engaged to Cordea and Engard's role in destroying that. And about how she decided, in her despair, to end it all. But why? She was so beautiful. And that's all Miss Impacts had to say. Damn, dude. There is one thing I would like to say here. The prosecution has no interest in slandering Mr. Engard. Then what? Our intention, Your Honor, is to establish a motive for murder. Isn't that correct, witness? Yes. On the night of the murder, Juan was going to make the contents of the note public. After the post-ceremony show, he was going to hold a press conference. My word! Matt Engard values above all else his refreshing like a spring breeze image. Which is why he had to stop this note from being made public. At any cost. Damn, dude. This is not going good. It's Ingard's fault that the woman killed herself. And that- oh shit, I pressed the X button. How terrible. What a selfish person. I guess there's a slimeball lawyer out there who will defend- oh god, come on guys. I didn't know he was evil. There's no room- well, I mean, I, I knew someone would be evil, but I didn't know he would be evil. Mr. The Killer Client's goal was to obtain the suicide note. And the only person who needed this note that badly is the defendant. I am so fucking hungry right now. It is stupid. My stomach is killing me. Let's not forget that the bear with the note inside was found at the defendant's house. It seems that we have come to the truth at last. The defendant's motives are entirely selfish. He deserves no sympathy from anyone. God damn. <laughs> I mean, you're right. But... I need some wiggle room. We still gotta get Maya. How am I supposed to escape from this one? Why the hesitation, Phoenix? Gumshoe hasn't called yet, so you know what you must do. I know. I have to carry on and buy him some more time. Okay. There are two deadly pieces of evidence. The figurine and the suicide note. Maybe, somehow, I can find a way out of the situation through one of those. The gravel is, all the gravel is already in the... F <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> The gavel's already in the hand of the judge. Phoenix, hurry! Suicide note or the figurine? Which one of these should I press? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, let's go for the more controversial one. Objection! Please wait, Your Honor. What's the meaning of this right? Oh, man, look at that lawyer. He's still going at it. It's like he doesn't care that he's trying to get the killer off the hook. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I think your honor believe uh, I think your honor believes that Matt Engard killed in order to obtain this note. Yes, that is correct. But that seems a little strange. In fact, I think there is a contradiction here. This note was hidden by Mr. Cordea until the night of the murder. If that is the case, I say that Matt Engard could have not known what was written on this note. Oh, shit! I didn't think of that. I didn't think of it that way. 
Exactly. But I did think of it that way, and I thought it was rather strange. No one in their right mind would kill for a note without first knowing what it said. Order. Order. You make a valid point, Mr. Wright. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion? It was just a flash, but I think I rather <laughs> I think I did rather well on that one. Unfortunately, I went right into a trap. I think he believes different. Damn it. Edgeguard sitting there. Mm-hmm. You activated my trap card. I believe a show of appreciation is in order. Huh? The defendant seems to be in love with his wishing more despair upon himself. Oh shit. I would like to distract the court's attention, uh, distract. I would like to direct the court's attention to this. What is that? It is a very small video camera, your honor. This type of camera is commonly used as a means of spying. Spying? What the? I thought the spy camera was in my possession. Matt and Garden, the victim. <laughs> exactly. My man reached into my pocket from across the room, tucked the camera out my pocket, said, Now I got the evidence. It's mine now. Matt and Garden, the victim, both thought of the, uh, of the other as the biggest rival. They even went as far as to use this type of item to find each other's weakness. And? The victim, Juan Cordea, was being spied on. His personal life was being watched by none other than Matt Engard. You're some petty ass people. Order! Order! <clears throat> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? You. Don't tell me you knew about your client's spying activities. Well, shit. Sort of. Sort of is not an acceptable answer, Mr. Wright. I see you're confused, Mr. Wright. You're probably thinking, but I have the camera that was in my stuffed bear's eye. Huh? Did you find another stuffed bear, you son of a bitch? But this camera that I have is not the same one. Last night I searched the victim's house on a hunch. Using this. Gumshoes Bug Sweeper? Why Gumshoes Bug Sweeper? By the way, Mr. Wright, the defendant's fingerprints were found on this camera. Mr. Engard's fingerprints were on there. Well, Phoenix. Looks like those cameras were hidden all over the place, huh? What am I supposed to say to that evidence? I think this is the end. It's fairly obvious that Mr. Engard learned- Come on, Edgeworth! Give me a little help here. Maya's life is on the line, you son of a bitch. You asshole. He was watching the victim all along. He got me good this time. I don't have anything to counter that. Hey. Hey, now what's the lawyer thinking? Mommy? Is that man the- <laughs> Mommy, is that man the bad guy? There's a kid in the crowd. Which is not against the law. You can literally be the age of zero to watch a fucking trial. Yes, that is within the law. You can look it up. Why I know that? I honestly don't know why I know that, but I do know it. Not where I got that information from. Yes, Chief? Have you figured out what you're going to do next? <clears throat> what I'm going to do next? Does running away like a frightened child work? <laughs> I know it seems like Mr. Engard is very close to putting the lid on the case, but in his eagerness to prove his point, you've got one very important thing. He pissed me off. Well, what is it, Mia? There's a piece of evidence that he really should be investigating. Something he should investigate. I would really hate to see this good prosecutor get scolded for not remember remembering to look into the item with he had... <clears throat> when he had the chance, I am losing my voice currently. Oh my god. I can feel my voice just slowly going away. <laughs> Why are you speaking in riddles all of a sudden? Fucking me over there. Little. <laughs> you good? Don't suffer for the stream. No, I mean, like, it's just. Like, I'm. Oh god. <laughs> like, I'm good. It's just that since I just woke up and I was sleeping in a cold ass room, because for some reason I guess my heater just did, decided not to work. Like, um, I'm not sick or anything, it's just as my voice is not ready for anything right now, it also feels like, it also feels like, you know, like you get spit in the back of your throat. 
feels like that's just like deciding to move around whenever the fuck it feels like for some reason. Alright, this time we finally understand everything. Well, Mr. Wright, you don't have any further objections, do you? And I'm hungry as fuck, too. <laughs> what is this piece of evidence that me is talking about? Did I save the game? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, present the evidence, I guess. I have no fucking choice. I don't know what evidence she's talking about. I have an objection, Your Honor. Hmm. That was about the weakest objection I've ever heard, Mr. Wright. You're not wrong about that. Objection! Your Honor, the defense has no intention of letting us go go so easily. Are you beginning to sound <laughs> you're beginning to sound desperate? I did save? Alright, just making sure. I every time for some reason whenever I save a game, you sit there and you're like, did I save? Might as well do it again, just in case. <laughs> That's just your imagination, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth, this is not like you at all. Huh? In your eagerness to prove your point, you've forgotten one very important thing. Hey, isn't that what I just said? Shut up, Mia. The boys are talking now. <laughs> That's fucked up. So you're telling me that I've forgotten something? You're so close, Mr. Edgeworth. I know you said I just saved, but, you know, I'm panicking here. But there's something you really should examine about this piece of evidence. Yeah, about this piece of evidence. Uh, uh the bear? <laughs> oh shit. The receipt? The camera? The transmitter? transmitter well mr. Edgeworth it's not the transmitter <laughs> yes I do believe some special examination is needed but I think the item that should be examined is the defendant's gray matter oh damn <laughs> save like five times before the next word oops I fucked up what will he overlook I mean the the receipt the stuffed bear? We haven't used the receipt yet. I mean, we used it when we were breaking the psychic locks. What the fuck evidence is he talking about? In the room from 8 p.m. for uh, one hour was running at the time of the murder. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Damn it! Something you really should examine about this piece of evidence. What the fuck is he on about? The guitar case? Time of death? Knife? Was placing the victim at the time of the murder? This one? No, it's not. Damn it. <laughs> what the hell are they on about? God, my stomach is fucking killing me. Damn it. <laughs> Shut up, stomach! Can't be the stuffed bear. Can't be the suicide note. Found the mansion with love, so less is written on it. The photo. Why would it be the photo? The spy camera was set in the right eye. Found in the victim's room. Why would it be the photo? <laughs> is it the photo? We haven't used the photo yet. We haven't used that in the trial. That hasn't come up. At this point, I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even thinking. I'm really just trying everything with everything at this point, mainly because fucking. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell they're on about. Huh? What the fuck? What do you want me to? What do you want me to do, Mia? What evidence are we talking about here? Seems that Nickel Samurai confessed something out this show. Huh. Soul in the Night. The guitar case. El Guitar. Is that what we're doing here? The bear. Bear in the big blue house. Damn it. What 
the fuck? Mr. Wright, after this trial is over, I would like to see you in my chambers. What? What are you on about? I think there are a few things we need to discuss. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> if you're gonna speak, at least use your brain to make up some little dumb. I want to see you in my chambers. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you can do that? Hey, tell me I forgot something. You're so close, Mr. Edgeworth, but there's something you really should examine about the evidence. I have no idea. My attorney's badge. You should check that out. Originally from Myers Kidnapper, who goes by the name The Killer. Tabloids? Could it be? But his fingerprints are on the camera. The button. Juan Hordea was her suit, I know, hidden. I don't think that. Huh. Shot from Celeste. Strangled. The scarf. Stabbed with a knife. What the fuck? Picture in the hallway. Oh. It could be this. Maybe? No. I don't think so. It could be. Suicide? I don't think it would be the suicide note. Yeah, let's go to Lodge's photo, why not? Oh shit. Oh no, they got me. I'm dead. I wish there was a... Uh, I wish there was like a log button, you know? To see previous statements. I have no idea what the hell they're on about. Sure, suicide note, why not? What? Didn't we just go over the suicide note? This is Miss Impact's suicide note, right? Hmm, who knows? What? You saying it's a forgery? I mean, sure, the suicide note was found inside the bear. But this bear was in my possession until only a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on the suicide note has yet to be analyzed. Oh. So... As to what... See, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> I wouldn't think that, because I thought... Because, um, as Miles was, uh, talking about the suicide note, and he's all like, she signed her name on it, and stuff like that, I thought he already had something to compare her signature to. I thought we were just kind of going with that. I didn't, I didn't know we were, we were thinking about forgeries here. <laughs> I mean, even though we're speaking out our ass, because Matt is super guilty. <laughs> as to whether this providential evidence, pivotal, 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 not providential, pivotal, piece of evidence was really written by Miss Impacts or not. That has yet to be even remotely confirmed. Oh, shit. Mr. Wright, you can't seriously be suggesting. Mr. Wright, shut up, Andrews. You don't know nothing about this note. You didn't see it. You, are you saying the suicide note is a fake? Yes, Miss Andrews. You were the one who tried to pin this murder on Mr. Engard. Who's to say you didn't create a fake suicide note and put it... Why you look like you're guilty? <laughs> she looks like she's guilty of that. How dare you? Your Honor, the defense is uh, indiscriminately accusing the witness again. There's no evidence linking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever. Oh, yes, there is, though. But if it was a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. What? She's the only one who can open the bear. Recall the witness testimony concerning the figurine. The only person other than the victim who can solve the puzzle is the witness herself. I think that's why Mia said it. <laughs> Would impact Edgeworth's career if he overlooked the forgery. Oh shit. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> when you say it like that, god damn. His career is nothing but a forgery. <laughs> Miss Andrews. You wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt Engard. I... I did no such thing. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright? Why did I say Mr. Wright? Wright! If you're gonna pronounce the suicide note... If you're gonna pronounce the suicide note a fake... Then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't expect you to do that. 
Objection! Mr. Edgeworth, you're the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, the prosecution. Aw, oh, fuck! <laughs> he got me. That's enough. Stop, stop bitching, boys. I'll turn this car around. Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm the handwriting on the suicide note? It is as the defense said, has stated, the handwriting has yet to be analyzed. If that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where the verdict is impossible. Oh shit, thank me. Oh god. Impo that's impossible. This isn't good, Phoenix. The judge is going to carry, carry this trial over one more day. I don't think Maya has. Uh, I don't think Maya will be physically able to make it another day. I don't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. Handwriting analysis, my butt. That's just the lawyer trying to buy some time. And guard's guilty. Look at it. Look. Uh, look, any idiot can tell you that. I think we reached the end of the line. Guilty. 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 Listen, trust me, I would like for him to get guilty, but Maya, Maya's next on the line here. <laughs> Phoenix literally said, it ain't my problem, B. What? What is that sound? It's Gumshoe. Hello, Gumshoe. Uh, what's, what's with him? And what's with the sigh? Where's Maya? What happened to the killer? He, uh, he got away. What? I'm sorry, pal. I really am. I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry. I wish there was some way to make it up to you. I really do. Anyway, what's going on? He found his hideout, pal. But the two of them were already gone. This is terrible. I'm gonna keep looking for them, pal. Don't you worry. I just need a little more time. But don't tell me we don't... We don't have any more. Damn it! I'm gonna get this girl killed. Do you hear that? They're calling for his head. Mr. Wright, I can't. For us to come this far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh. What is it? Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth. I can't do that. Mr. Wright, would you please get a hold of yourself? Yes, Your Honor. I'm about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after. Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! Take that! <laughs> little PNG. It's a little PNG of the phone twirling around. That's amazing. Please, you gotta buy us some more time. Court is in session. What?! I'm sorry, Your Honor. You were saying? Mr. Wright, this is a court of law. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... I am I'm reluctant to do this, however. It appears that I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. Ah, oh, this time, I really can't do anything. Court is now adjourned for the day. What the hell, Edgeworth? You son of a bitch. Please wait, Your Honor. Oh, I got a change of heart. E Edgeworth? What? What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another 30 minutes of your time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tests uh, on the piece of evidence in that time. Hmm. But can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? I believe we can, Your Honor. But wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't it be better if we adjourned for today and, the re and reconvene tomorrow? 30 minutes, please, Your Honor. That's all I'm asking for. Please, Your Honor. Very well. As the prosecution requests, this court will now take a 30 minute recess. But be advised that I will not allow another recess today. I'm not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its uh, final recess of the day. Damn it. Right. Well, what's going on with my situation? The killer. Looks like he got away again. 30 minutes? We can't find her in that time. Uh. 
Report. He still has my phone. Ah, huh, it's Mr. Edgeworth. We don't have time, just spit it. Right. It looks like we just missed him, sir. But the killer left a few things behind by accident in the rush to get away. A few things. Can we use any of them as evidence? Oh, I thought you asked, pal. I got the thing he left with me right now, and I'm on my way over. Really? That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir. When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran. <laughs> Trying to watch this thing while there's thunder or lightning outside my house. <laughs> oh, for real. Damn. I know the feeling. What was it? Was it last week? It was thunder lightning outside my house and I was trying to do the stream. <laughs> Hoping that it doesn't go through the microphone. By the way, the image of Gumshoe just like looking over his shoulder, picking up some shit, throwing it in his pocket and running. It's hilarious to me. Well, I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to. I'm really sorry, but I gotta put the law on the hold for now. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get too much trouble over this. With my, with my hunk of junk car, I say I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. Alright, just get here in one piece. I'm on a mission and no one can stop me now. <laughs> I'm making mac and cheese and no one can stop me. I'm pulling out all the stops and running every red light. Oh shit, don't do that. <laughs> he said I'm gonna run every red light. Maybe there's something amongst them that will be decisive enough to end this. Oh, uh, what what just happened? Did I, did I have a stroke? Hey, what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe, answer me. What? No one can stop me. What the fuck? What was that? What happened? Sound like he had an accident. I'm guessing his cell phone broke as well. Damn. California's weather is crazy. California's weather's hanging tin. What was he thinking? We gotta hurry and call for help. But we have no I uh but we have no idea where he is. His cell phone's broken, and he wasn't driving a, a patrol car, so no radio either. Also, if we don't get those items before they do, the police will take possession of them. No, we can't let that happen. Well, if there's a way we can find out where he is, then we stand a chance. <laughs> why oh why did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? Is there any way to find out exactly where he is? Uh, maybe there is a way. Does he... Does he have a, uh... <sighs> Let's try. That's right, there is a way. What? How? I'm sure we can find out where Tuck, uh, the Tuck, ugh. <laughs> what is with me? Where Detective Gumshoe is? Um. Damn. Do I know? Does he have the camera on him? I don't think he has the camera on him at all. <laughs> What the fuck? Originally from Maya's kidnapper. I don't yeah, the radio's not gonna help. <laughs> Do I know? Maybe it's the camera. He has a camera on him. I actually don't know. Right? We're not in the middle of a mock trial here. I guess this won't work, huh? I guess it's up to me. Alright, I'll think of something on my end. Please do. <laughs> Don't get your hopes too high, but I'll try my best. Did I say something wrong? Did I fuck up the trial by saying something wrong? Edgeworth? What is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone either. Hmm. I know my client is guilty. What I'm doing now? Pinning the guilt onto someone's total innocent, uh, someone, uh, someone totally innocent, using that evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say, defense attorney Phoenix Wright chose death. Right? It doesn't suit someone like you to cry, uh, cry useless tears. Whether you did your job well or not, 
That can only that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict. Is Prosecutor Edworth he, uh, Edgeworth here? Yes, bailiff. There's a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. Uh, they're probably finished with the hand uh, with handwriting analysis. I have to go take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what you what you must do. I want to know how could we actually have found Gumshoe? Rip from Carson. Footage taken by the spy camera. He doesn't have a radio on him. I know he doesn't have a radio on him. Right? I just want to know what the fuck, what, what the evidence would have been for that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In the meantime, think hard about what you must do. I hope me fucking that up didn't fuck up anything else. Save your progress? Sure, why not? Okay. March 23rd. Uh, I'm stretching in my chair. So we were something you were told in game. Hmm. I mean, you know what? I don't. I don't like the fact that I didn't get it. Makes me mad. <laughs> Makes me mad that I didn't get it. Not gonna lie. We're doing it again. Think of how you found Gumshoe earlier. Oh, the only thing I can think of is is Franzesca. She has her little tracker on him. <laughs> the phone. Take that! <laughs> and he just twirls around like it's in fucking French Prince of Bel Air opening. Would Francesca be nearby though? I assume she'd be watching the trial, maybe. She's no longer in uh She's no longer in the hospital. I'm not sure she's actually here, though. <laughs> I like the fucking... I like the ringtone for that, I really do. Alright. No, I should, I should actually, I should actually, uh, actually, I should actually save it here. <laughs> it has to be the tracker, right? There is a way, Edgeworth. We can find him. There is a way. Ah, what is this way? She has a tracker on him. Why are you bringing up Francesca at a time like this? Oh, I see. I'll try to get in contact with her. The chances are slim, but she's all we have. Damn. Can you be- can you ever truly be angry at a face like that? At a woman like that? I don't think you can. Nazeska, she'll even- will she even want to help us? Edgeworth? What is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone. Alright, there we go. Cool. I feel better now. I feel better that I got it right. <laughs> Just needed a little bit of a hint. I didn't think she... See, in my mind, I'm like, what is a time-effective way? Can we even get in contact with her within, like, 30 minutes?
Court will now reconvene. I assume both sides are all are ready. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Are you okay, Edgeworth? What happened? I can understand the defense acting like this. However, why do you also seem distraught, Mr. Edgeworth? Aye, that is... It's nothing, Your Honor. What's wrong with them? It looks like something unexpected just happened to him. What did Francesca do to you? Now then, Mr. Es uh, M Major. Mr. Edgeworth, if you can please tell the court the results of the handwriting analysis on Miss Impact's suicide note. Yes, Your Honor. Unfortunately. Unfortunately? We have discovered that this suicide note is a forgery. What? What? What do you mean? This this note was not written by Miss Impact herself. It is a fake. Adrian is thinking of how Gumshoe was ter <laughs> was terrified of it, and now it helps to save him. True, true. I thought, see, in, in my mind, that would immediately come because I thought she would. I thought when she fired him, she would just be like, "I don't need this anymore." Also, does does Gumshoe does Gumshoe like not change his clothes or something? <laughs> I mean, listen, I understand it's anime and everyone wears the same shit, but yeah, it gotta be like you know the B movie, right? He opens the closet and he's like, let's see, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ah, black and yellow. <laughs> order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. Can you care to explain what's going on? If this is not written by Miss Impact, so then who's who has wrote the note? We need more time to do more detailed analysis. However, it appears that the handwriting matches that of the victim, Mr. Juan Cordea. Cordea? Well, well. Looks like Miss Impact's never left the suicide note after all. Too much logic for the game? <laughs> exactly. Unless she fucking... Unless she, like... Unless she injected him with a tractor. Tractor? <laughs> injected him with a tracker. When he was asleep. Just, like, put a chip in him. It looks like Miss Impact's never left the suicide note after all. She never wrote anything about Engard. However, Your Honor, even though the suicide note is indeed a fake, Mr. Engard could not have known that, and so the facts remain unchanged. Acting under the assumptions that it was real, he had plotted to possess it. Hmm, that does sound very plausible. This theory that Engard had no idea that the suicide note was a fake. Something seems a little wrong with that. Hmm. How's that? How, how, how so? Why not? The defense believes that the theory that the prosecution has stated contradicts testimony. If everything that the prosecutor has proven up to this point is true, then it is impossible for Mr. Uh, for Mr. Engard to not have known that it was a fake. Hmm. Really? Rip from costume. Would the photo come in handy for this? I don't think so. Shot from Celeste Impact Suicide. Um. Cordea, what's her suicide note hidden? It's impossible for Miss Engard to not have known it was a fake. How the fuck? The spy camera? Maybe the spy camera will work? What is this little item called again? A video camera, Your Honor. Well, a very small one, but... Oh, that's right, a camera. Oh, you kids and your fancy toys nowadays. Mr. Edgeworth. Earlier, you claimed that Matt Engard knew of the existence of this note. Uh, Mr. Uh, wow. Wow, I just, I, mm, I had a stroke <laughs> reading that. Because he was spying on the victim, isn't that right? Hmm. If that was true, then the means Mr. Engard would have known that the victim had forged the note. Wait, what? I just, I, I did not read that correctly, and I know I didn't read that correctly. So then. The defendant knew the suicide note was a fake. And if that's true, then the situation has suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. 
Exactly, Your Honor. The prosecution theory, theory as to what, uh, blah, 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 blah. The prosecution theory as to what Mr. Engard's motive of murder was, it has suddenly disappeared into the air. But Your Honor, it's not as if Mr. Engard monitored Mr. Cordea 24 hours a day. Oh, I would not put that past him. Perhaps the victim wrote the note in a place, in a place Mr. Engard didn't know of. Well, right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why don't you show us some proof that the victim made the forgery at the unknown place? Oh, shit. Order. Order, I say. Mr. Edgeworth. Looks like this time, this time it is you who has dug his own grave. Oh, shit. As I figured. Huh? As you figured? As I figured, it came down to this after all. Mr. Edgeworth, you're not making any sense. When I heard the results of the handwriting analysis, I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What's next? If the prosecution can't pro uh, prove Mr. Engard's motive through the evidence, then we must prove it from another angle. Well, I agree with you there. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. Oh, well, that's fine. However, this witness... This witness is a little unusual. I swear. Huh? Who? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Who the fuck are you talking about? What are you on about? Edward's stuttering. This is not like him at all. Huh? Unusual? Well, what sort of witness? I'm really trying to think right now. Is he bringing an animal to the stand? I bring the I bring the defendant's cat. Is this person uh well what sort of witness is this person, Mr. Edgeworth? This is one who perfectly fit to answer once and for all all the questions of who was it hired Shelley to kill her to commit murder. What? Are you bringing are you bringing Matt? to the stand. That's impossible. Who in the... No such person exists who can answer the question with such certainty. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is this witness? It is... It's, um... Yes, go on. Who is it? The man himself. Mr. Shelley DeKill... Or what? Oh, Mr. DeKiller. Wait. Shelley DeKiller? Did you guys catch him? You mean the killer? Uh, I mean the assassin. Yes, Your Honor. He's coming here to the witness stand. Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. I recognize that this is a very unusual circumstance, so I ask for your permission. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? I yes. Is this all right with you? Do I have a choice here? I can't really do much else to drag this trial out. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. I wonder if it's, re I wonder if it really is all right to do this. Very well. Then the prosecution call, uh, the prosecution calls its witness to the stand. Edgeworth, is there no other way left to us? I mean, if you, if he's coming here, does that mean we found Maya? <laughs> now then, witness, um, your name and your occupation. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Okay. Huh. Very good, sir. My name is Shelley DeKiller, and I am a professional assassin. Uh, I say. What's going on here? Your Honor, how can you remain so calm? What is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. DeKiller will testify to this court. So this means... <laughs> so this must be what the urgent phone call we got earlier was about. Oh no. This will not do. I cannot allow this in my court. First of all, we can't even be sure that this is really Mr. DeKiller himself. Witness, please present some sort of proof that you are, in fact, Shelley the Killer. I understand. Please wait a second. I'm... I'm so hungry. Maya! A voice, Mr. Wright. 
can confirm anything of this? <laughs> he didn't have an animal or pet, so this was our best next option. <laughs> True. The defendant has no objection to this person. We are satisfied that this man is indeed Shelly, Shelly, uh, Shelly the Killer. It looks like we have run into yet another unexpected turn of events. Well, it does seem like we have too many choices. Uh, too many choices under this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, it doesn't seem like we have too many choices under these circumstances. So, now then, witness. There's one thing I would like to confirm before we speak of anything else. And what would that be? At the request of the client, you killed Mr. Juan Cordea. Is this correct? It is as you say. I didn't kill Mr. I did indeed kill Mr. Cordea. Now that we have answered that, let's move on to the name of your client. Very well. This is all just a bad dream. Yes, it is. A bad dream. Shelly the killer. What is he gonna say? Okay. There's something I must state first. To an assassin, assassin, to assassin, I can't even say the word now. To an assassin, nothing is more important than the trust between the client and himself. And that is the reason I am here today on this witness stand. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give the name of my client. Hmm. Mr. DeKiller seems to be very, a very clever man. I almost say he has to, uh, he seems to be mocking us. I am... I am so hungry. <laughs> while he may be appear, while he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor, Mr. The Killer is only st only stating the truth. He is no hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean about this trust between his client and himself? Hmm. It seems to be a level of trust beyond the people like me can comprehend. Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready for your cross examination? Yes, Your Honor. There's no way to know what's coming next, so stay cool and collect it. I got this. Got this, Mia. Just as long as we don't get Maya's throat slit, it'll they'll all be fine. All right. Something I must state first. I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna press it. We can hear anything you have to say later. Can you please just tell us your clients? <laughs> I don't think you understand your place, Mr. Attorney. I said this is something I must state first. Do you know what the word first means? Sorry, go on. Well, it appears this is one witness you can't badger. Oh, for real? Well, because you don't know how... <laughs> uh, I, just want to, I just want to press that. I know nothing would come of it. To an assassin, nothing's more important than the trust between... <gasps> That was a that was a big yawn. Oh god. The trust between you and your client. I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. If too many people knew my face, it would be quite troublesome. And that is why you're testifying in this manner. This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. I must preserve I must preserve the killer name so my clients can trust me. But couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It had never happened before, but if it ever did, I killed them. Yes. That person wouldn't be my client for very long. They would certainly. That's enough. Please, no more. Very well. It was only a hypothetical anyways. He said, they talk, I'ma kill them. <laughs> this seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell us your name, uh, the name of your client. I would think that this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. This client has already broken the rules and acted outside of their prescribed role. What? Huh. Their role? This person tried to implicate another of the, uh, tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save themselves. And this is the trespass, uh, this is, uh, this is a trespass that cannot be forgiven. You, who gave you the right to be so high and mighty. To the gentleman who spoke just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? Uh, no, no, I'm good. That judge had better watch himself. 
It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give the name of my client. Okay? We understand, so please tell us the name of your client. I'm afraid I cannot do that. I still have a few things to say before I do. Ah. Uh, that's ego. That's ego mania. Ugh, ugh, ego maniac. That's a word. That's a word that my lips will not do. It's not good for your health to be so uh, aggravated. You won't live very long if you let everything bother you. Somehow, that's coming from an assassin makes me feel less comfortable. I don't really care all about this extra fluff. Just tell us the name already. Patience, try to calm down a little. That's important to try and understand his mindset. He seems very steadfast and closed uh for blah 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 blah. <laughs> seems very steadfast and closed, so you're gonna have to do some work to get him to talk. I'm not his therapist, you know. That's the reason why I'm here today on the witness stand. Okay, I'm highly confused. Do I have to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press another statement because maybe I can revert back to what he said. Rolls. I'm sorry, but I was wondering about something he just said. Okay, there we go. Because he just fucking said, "Dude went outside of his role." I'm like, what the hell? Did that not change his testimony in a way? You said that your client had already broken the rules. The person who frames another is is the worst kind of human. And that's why you feel you can betray this person. I have no trust relationship with with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Just my luck, an assassin with a conscience. Who could have figured? Now then, everyone, do you think you can understand my logic? This case is just keeps getting better and better. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can't proceed. Everyone understands your point, I think, really. In that case, I believe I'm prepared to disclose the information you seek. You have made it crystal clear that you value trust over all else. I believe we are ready. Ex excellent. And that is the reason I am here today on the witness stand. Okay, well then... I don't really care about all the extra fluff. Patience. Uh huh. I gotta press another, another one. <laughs> Reason I'm here today. And then I believe it's about time I revealed the name of my client. Do you agree? Yes, I do. What is it? Um, now I can't bring myself to ask the client's name. If you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. Witness. What is the name of your client who requested the murder of Mr. Juan Cordea? The person's name is... Mr. Phoenix Wright! Adrian Andrews. What?! Witness! <laughs> That's not who you told me it was earlier. Huh? Pray tell. What are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? I should think I know my own client and his Adrian Andrews. What? How dare you? This can't be. On the phone earlier. What's going on here? My guess is that the killer just stabbed Edgeworth in the back. Stabbed Edgeworth in the back? I'm sure in order to get an audience with this court, Mr. De Killer told him a different name. Matt Engard, perhaps. I knew it. I found it a little weird. I'm like, if he's gonna say Matt's name, then why does he still have Maya? I mean, technically speaking, he can still have her for insurance. But I mean... The, mo the moment he go like, it's over, man. Trust done. He could've just left Maya and said, find her. Go get her. This is an outrage. I was deceived. He played us for a fiddle! <laughs> this witness is telling a very serious lie. But you are the one who summoned this witness. Da, that motherfucker. You, Shelly the Killer. My testimony is the truth. The defendant at the moment is Matt Engard. I am correct. All I wish to do is help proceed his acquittal. Proceed. Procure. That's the word. Hmm. Wow. All of a sudden, it feels like we can actually win this. Yeah, but I don't want to win this. I just want Maya back. 
prosecution has failed to provide a motive and has instead provided this suicide note, which is a forgery created by the victim. Furthermore, there's a possibility that the defendant himself knew it was a fake. But most definitely, most definite of all, we have heard from the assassin himself the name of his client. The Mr. DeKiller's client who requested the murder was not the defendant at all. No. With all this evidence, it is obvious to me that this means that Mr. Inger... Do you think, for some reason, just random aside here, do you think that in his prison cell, or whatever the hell, fucking Von Karma is just sitting there, watching the trial proceed because Edgeworth is on, and he's like, Motherfucker, how can you be so stupid? <laughs> he's, just, he's just writhing inside the cell, just losing his mind. With all this evidence, it's obvious to me that this means that Mr. Matt Engard is innocent. Oh, shit. I seem to have caused you all a bit confusion. Please continue your discussion, and I call, and call me when you have reached a verdict. Beep. Bailiff, please bring Miss Andrews out here immediately. What now? With the way this is going, Engard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Last chance. And <laughs> they get Von Karma's own TV set to watch? Probably, you know what? They probably would. But I just meant like, you know, I, you know, going off of movies and shit, I guess. How some uh, inmates have like little tiny TVs inside their, inside their cells or something. Or like in like a recreational area or something. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Yeah, but. But Edgeworth is right. The killer's lying. And Engard, my client. I know he's guilty. Can I live myself if I win this? I don't want to win this. Uh, who would have believed that the prosecution's own witness would absolve the defendant? Your Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. So the killer is certainly lying under oath. Hmm. It wasn't me. Listen, everyone, please. That testimony just now... It was all a big lie. Miss Andrews, the suicide note may have been a fake, but that man, Matt, he's the reason Celeste died. And Juan's death, it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. That testimony just now, you have to believe me, it was a horrible, horrible lie. But Mr. The Killer himself has testified. He has named you as his client. No, that's not true. Also, there's no, there's quite a bit of evidence that points to you. The knife and button, doning the nickel samurai costume. But that's, that's, I mean, that's a contradiction in itself. If she hired a hitman, why would she need to go in there? You even have a motive. We know that Miss Celeste's impact was a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her, and you wanted revenge against the two who hurt her. Nice, I would say you have plenty of reason uh, to what, uh, blah, 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 to want them both dead. I, no. Mr. Wright. You, you know the truth. Tell them. Tell them the real story. Who the real killer is. Tell them. Please, help me. Yes, I know the truth. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I believe we have reached the end of this trial. Therefore, I ask the defendant for the final words of opinion. Damn. After knowing all she went through. It pains me inside to see her in tears. Yeah, I know. It, it sucks. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Poor little Samus Aran. How dare. Do I take not guilty verdict and save Maya? <sighs> There's no way. Maya wouldn't even let me live it down. What am I supposed to do? I want it to continue. Phoenix, shut up, Mia. I can't do it, Mia. Can't accept the not guilty. Are you a you are a lawyer? I know. But but Matt Engard is a killer, a murderer. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. I can't let someone else take the fall. If I let Miss Andrews be convicted, then I'm no better than Engard. And even though I don't want to admit it. I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that I now that I know the real truth. 
He could have for, uh, he could have gotten Mr. Engars convicted so many times over, but never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust. I never thought about it until now. I trust him? Yes, you do. Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that... Uh, that we be allowed to further question Mr. The Killer. Am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Right. But... Hmm. That witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet, to see through witness lies and find the truth. That is my job, Your Honor. There's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once those pieces arrived here, in this courtroom, a miracle will occur. Very well. The trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish connection with Mr. DeKiller. Right away, Your Honor. Has a verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk to you a little more. About? All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need from me? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. This is how things are, usually done. What is he talking about, usually done? But, what shall, what shall we have him testify about? Mr. The Killer, if you don't mind, please testify how your client... How about your client in more detail? You legal people in your in your oh god, you legal people in your procedures. Is it any wonder? Is it any wonder why no one likes to go to court? All right. As I have already stated quite a few times, uh, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did, uh, did it to frame another for the, uh, for the crime. While pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene, Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Cordea was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planning of the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I said my client has broken the rules. Hmm. This is most unexpected turn of events for the uh, fifth time now. However, this time everything has finally been revealed. Just a second, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? You still have the cross-examination to do. But you don't need to question testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice here. Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defendant's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Then I'll expose the lies in the oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. That makes the two of us. Okay. Well. This has taken quite an interesting turn. As I've already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. <sighs> that, was a, that was a big yawn. What is it, Mr. Wright? If I press him the wrong way, I might raise suspicion on his end. Oh, shit. But I have to do something to waste more time. Um, witness, I'm not requesting a hit. Yes? How much is your fee? I see you are also quite a dark-hearted man, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you would like to talk business, we can do so after the trial. Oh, no! I'm not thinking of her. Mr. Wright! Yes? Yeah, you... You want to kill me. You want me dead, don't you? What? Why would you think something like that? Guilty! Mr. Phoenix Wright, you are hereby declared guilty- Wait, what? Witness, let's continue. Why do you disclose the name of your client? 
Okay. That is that was not a that was not a fun thing that just happened there. Kinda scared me. Hmm. I would think that most people would be able to overlook the person hiring another to kill. If I had a problem with such a thing, I would be very it, it wouldn't be very effective at my job. Hmm. Yeah. Well, a change in occupation might do good for you. However, I will say this. Even though I am the one that does the deed, my clients are always the real guilty party. That goes without saying, Mr. The Killer. And their fate is to live with the knowledge of their guilt on their shoulders. However, my client this time thought that they could run away from their guilt. My client did it to frame another for the crime. Are you talking about the button and knife? Yes, and my and my business card. Oh, and this card. So there's no one. Uh, there's no one who has to waste their time, including the police. I was making a point to make things as easy as possible. Yeah, you try to make things easy. My business card makes it very easy to identify who carried out the service. Yeah, he's pretty devoted to his work. But. To disregard, uh, to, uh, blah, 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 blah. to disregard everything, to go and stab the deceased with a knife, and even hit hide my card from sight, this is something I cannot overlook. Hmm. It's really hard to tell if he's being truthful or, or not without him being here. While pretending to be the first person to discover the body. Okay. So you're saying most clients wouldn't do such a thing? That is correct. Usually, most people try to create an alibi for themselves. You, if you, uh, blah, 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 blah. If you should use my services, Mr. Attorney, I would suggest you plan for your alibi, too. Uh, no. I already told you, I have no intention of using your services, ever. Don't look at me, Judge. I just keep looking at me like I'm the one on trial here. Hmm. From the very beginning... This is correct. And before my client visits the room, all my clients know precisely what the situation is at all times. I wonder if that's really true. That's odd. Hmm? But even more appalling is the creation and planning of the knife and button. So, why do you think, uh, why do you think your client did that? What do you mean by why? Well, fiddling around at the scene of the crime is pretty risky. And why would someone who have hired, who have requested a murder go to the crime scene anyways? That is true. I assume it will probably done the frame Mr. Engard. If that's the case, then why did the person just request that you do it? Sadly, that is not possible. Huh? My job is to kill. That is all. And to leave my business card behind, naturally. The business card is so many clients, uh, is so my clients may escape blame. To protect them is my duty. Even if they say it's for revenge, setting someone else up to take your fall. That act is what I referred to when they broke through. Okay. And that's all you have to testify? Yes. And I pray that I will never be uh, never be called to the stand again. Again? As in your plan to continue. I must. As I have yet to find a person to take my place and become the fourth successor. Actually... How would you like to... How would you like a new life, Mr. Attorney? Excuse me? No. I'm fine. Really. Are you really now? I wonder what kind of man the judge thinks I am now. What are you gonna do now, Phoenix? All I can do is expose the lie. That's true. However, you realize that it would be very bad for a client, right? Ugh. I'm so confused. But the one thing I know for sure is I can't let this trial end yet. Alright. So, not gonna lie, I kind of spaced out a little bit while I was reading that. What the hell did they lose their minds about earlier? Seeing the crime, my client did frame another crime, I was saying to be the first person to discover the body. Agent Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Cordea was dead. From the very beginning. That is correct. And before my client. And before my client visits the room, all of my clients know precisely what the situation is at all times. 
I wonder if that's really true. That's odd. Hmm. Okay. There has to be... Isn't there a, uh... Huh. Isn't there a photo? No, not that one. Do we not... Was that not added to... Huh. I was thinking of the photo when he's handing the bear over to whoever was in the room. But I, I guess we didn't keep that as evidence. What about the camera? Oh yeah, no, the camera, that wouldn't help because we know the camera belongs to Matt. His fingerprints are all over that shit. Oh. Knew from the very beginning. Hmm. What am I trying to... What am I trying to prove here? If she knew, why would she open the guitar case, probably? She also didn't know what the hell the card was. Miss Andrew was carrying it. Let's try the guitar case first. Okay, no. Alright, well then I'm gonna try the card. I don't think- I don't think the card would help us, because they can just say she was lying, but, you know. She didn't know what the hell the card was. Oh, shit. What is... Okay. Oh, wait, I wasn't even on the fucking... I wasn't even on the right statement for that. Jesus. <laughs> My bad. From the very beginning, Concord Day was the... Okay, hold up. Let me save it right here, so I don't... <laughs> I was using that evidence on the wrong statement, it seems. Okay. Was I using it on the right statement? Am I crazy? I'm gonna try that again. I'm not I'm not even Alright. Just making sure. Just making sure. Short term memory is being a bitch. Alright. Hmm. Confess something out the I don't... I don't think this would help. I don't think this would help. Why would she... Yeah, okay, that wouldn't help. My logical way of thinking that is, like, if she knew he was gonna be dead, why even set up the time for the conference? You know, I guess, stab him in the back or whatever. Time of death, A15, cause of strangulation. Hmm. The suicide note, maybe. We know it's a forgery now. Let me, let me look at the statements again. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. <laughs> okay, cannot overlook Tam. Okay, hold up. As I already stated quite a few times, as you answered my class, well, that's a lie. Simply cannot overlook tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did. I don't think I can use evidence for this. I think I just have to, like. Am I supposed to use evidence for this? Hold up. I would think that most people wouldn't be able to overlook person's hiring. It's my job. 
Yes. Even though I'm the one that does the deed, they are guilty. Okay, however, my client... Okay. To frame another for a crime, I don't think there's nothing there. Talking about the button and the knife. Yes, business card. Oh, this card. So, uh, waste their time in clean police. Mm hmm. Pretty devoted to his work. Alright. Let's see. So, you're saying clients would do such thing? That's correct. Usually, most people. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look for an alibi. Always knew from the very beginning that Juan Cordea was dead. Hmm. Well, if I do have to use evidence, it would definitely be on this one. But, from the very beginning, that is correct. From before my client visits the room, all of my clients know precisely what the situation is at all times. I wonder if that's really true. That's odd. Huh. Get water hotel. Prime photo. Jim Ninja button was ripped off. They know. Am I trying to show evidence that he doesn't update them at the right times? Or what's going on here? Hallway right after the murder. Right after the murder. I don't think that would help me, really. Would the autopsy report help me? I don't think so. No. This is... A little tricky. Okay. Oh, shit. What, what is going on here? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was at the end of it. Minus kidnapper goes by the name to killer. Tabloids. Gossip land. Straight from the... Ah. Uh. So why do you think your client did that? What do you mean by why? Well, fiddle around is pretty risky. That is true. I assume it was probably to frame him. Sadly, it's not possible. Huh? My job is to kill. Hmm. And that's all you have to testify. Yes. Prowl never... Again, as you plan to continue. He's looking for a successor. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. All I can do now is expose the lie. Something that... Huh. I'm actually really confused about this. What would... Hmm. In my mind right now... I'm trying to, I'm trying to prove something that would not, something that will prove that he didn't update her on time, at least, or update whoever on time. What is taking my spy camera and radio waves transmits the data? Would it be the transmit? Uh. 
It could be the transmitter. It takes time for for the you know deed to be for the footage to be made and stuff like that. But I mean, what the hell? It's time to try everything with everything, I guess. All logic has been thrown out the window for me. Besides the fact that that is the statement that I am aiming for. Let's see. Radio transceiver. I highly... Does that ever come into play for, like, as viable court evidence? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that definitely never comes to play. Uh... Camera wouldn't help. Tabloids wouldn't... Tabloids shouldn't help at all. Is it the tomato juice? The tomato. No hints from pressing. Just got back. So you're a bit lost. Um... No, there were... There were I mean, the only hint we got is that... From pressing was that, um... Was that one of the statements is obviously is the obvious facade but you know what's weird about this i i'm not like <laughs> i did think about using the tomato juice earlier when i was looking at the guitar case and i was like i i just honestly i should have done it in my mind i just there was no reason why i shouldn't have done it there was no reason for me not to choose the tomato juice earlier i just i just went like we already went over this a million times <laughs> So I just didn't feel like pressing it. But yeah, no. I mean... Has her fingerprints all over it and shit. Thank you so much for talking, uh, for taking the time to testify, Mr. DeKiller. What's the meaning of that, what's the meaning of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room... Yeah, if she wanted to, if she wanted to do nothing but frame it on Matt, she wouldn't have left her fingerprints all over the fucking scene. Your client had no idea that Hor uh, that I was about to say Hordea, really, that Juan Cordea had been murdered. But how do you know that? From the wine glass, Your Honor. The glass. Mr. Killer, suppose client. Uh, Mr. Killer's. Uh, suppose that. Uh, fuck. Mr. Killer's suppose client thought Mr. Cordea had only been framed. Uh, had only fainted. I can't even fucking read no more. Which is why this glass of tomato juice was poured for the victim. Hmm. But isn't that just a part of uh, Aunt Andrew's uh, calculated plan? I can't read. That's not possible, Your Honor. This glass bared the fingerprints of that person. Had it been had it been planned, they wouldn't have never left their fingerprints behind. I see your point, Mr. Edgeworth. What is your opinion? Strangely enough, I had the same exact thought just now. Witness, how do you explain this strange phenomenon? Isn't it a waste of time to ask about such a minor detail? It's not a very important point anyways, correct? I'm afraid you are mistaken. If Adrian Andrews really is your client as you claim, then your client should have should have knowledge uh blah blah blah. Should have knowledge of Mr. Cordea's death. If not, then that can only mean that Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. How strange. Yes. Why is it that the attorney has yet to ri rise in oh god, has yet to rise in objection at the absurd Ugh. can't read. At the absurd accusation. Phoenix, if the killers figure out what you're up to, you're in real trouble. Yeah, I know. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. Uh, sorry. Well, that was an awful weak objection for the two of you. Anyways, I'm positive there was a contradiction in that testimony. Prosecution requests for their testimony concerning, concerning when the request was taken. Very well. Right now, I have to buy us more time. While we wait for the items the killer left behind to get here. I just know that the very outcome of this trial lies with those items. I am so fucking hungry. I want, I just really want like, I'm really craving like Burger King right now and I don't even crave fast food. 
I just really want like, I just want a whopper. I just want to munch it. This request came to me about a week ago. About a week ago. It was requested uh, from my services on the night of the awards ceremony. We met at a certain bar and discussed the final, uh, finalized a few matters. That is what occurred. I trust my memory and I believe I have made no mistakes. Hmm. So you physically met your client, huh? That is correct. Meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Alright. This request came to me about a week ago. About a week ago! A week ago? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. I, of course, have my own preparations. Preparations? Uh, pre uh, d d uh, that's not even how you pronounce that word. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm, my mind is going crazy right now. I'm not gonna lie. I am in no mood. No mood. Not mood. No state to be thinking this hard today <laughs> at this point in time. And I was barely able to finish. When you request my services, Mr. Attorney, I hope you will keep that in mind. Please, stop. No. In any case, my client this time had a very specific date and time in mind. A specific date and time. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. It was a request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. Did you ask why on why on a specific night? No. I tried to fulfill all the conditions of my client's request. But as for why, I only have my suspicions. Your suspicions, huh? Press further. So what are these suspicions you had? Why did your client request that night? I'm sure it was all for the bear. The bear? My client spoke of it. I'm sure there will be a bear-shaped figurine in Juan Cordea's room. I would like you to retrieve that item for me. You must have been talking about this bear puzzle. Inside that figurine was a suicide note. Naturally, the victim brought it with him in his hotel. His hotel? His hotel? I was about to say that. His hotel. <laughs> he was planning to publicly disclose this content at the press conference after all. This is correct. And if I had not, if I have not done the job that night, I would not have known where the bear figurine was. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony just now of any importance? It was very important, actually. The testimony just now had made one thing clear, and that is... The client knew the secret of the bear figurine. Huh? Why is everyone so quiet? Mr. Wright, I think all of us already knew that. Oh, really? Witness, please continue with your testimony. He's like, oh, really? Oh, my bad. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. Why did I, why did I not press that? What is the name of this bar? So, you physically meet Adrian Andrews, right? Of course I did. What was that? What was with that brief pause? Witness, I would like for you to give us a few more details. That was my clients as a matter of principle. I have never taken a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? That's because I value the trust between a client and myself above all else. And the only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking them in the eye. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, I was the test, uh... Was testimony just now of any importance? They're all important. Of course. It was very important, Your Honor. If Mr. The Killer had met his client before the murder, then it's unlikely he is mistaken. So you're saying that his client really was Andrew Adrian Andrews? Uh, um, I guess so. You see? Just as I said. Sorry, Edgeworth! I'm so lost. Who the heck am I supposed to be helping here? Calm down, Phoenix. Think carefully and relax. Now then, with the witness, please continue. That is what that is what occurred. Trust my memory. I believe it made no mistake. Do you trust your memory? So, your client was Adrian Andrews. That is correct. Well, he says the two of them just met. But if they did, 
and there should be anything wrong with the killer's testimony. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything strange this time around. You have to draw more information from him. Uh, but you can't draw his suspicion. If you can do that, you should be able to... Okay. Talk about delicate balance. Come on. Draw more information out of him. No, try to fill suspicions. Press further. The bear. The bear. Hmm. Naturally. That is correct. If I had not done the job that night, but I had known there was a bear figurine. It's not important. What the killer said sounds plausible, but. In the end, it's just his conjecture. No, Your Honor, I don't think it's very important. Hmm. Well then, witness, please continue. So at a certain bar. Hmm. What was that pause? Press further. Hmm. It's not important. Uh, why he meets his clients is not important. Was it the point? Witness, please, please stop sidestepping my questions. What do you mean by that? My question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I've already told you, Mr. Wright, I did. It was only through talking with him face to face that I... Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Talking with him? With him? Him? I don't... Huh? I'm not sure if you need some glasses, sir, but I, I believe Adrian Andrews is a female. It was only through talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. That's when I thought I can trust this person as a client. Hmm. It's true what he says about the killer, about talking face to face. Well, Mr. Wright? Says when he just now of any importance? Yes, it was. Uh, yes. If I heard what I think I heard just now, then I think I've got him. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, we've got him. Your Honor, I believe the testimony just now was of utmost importance. Huh? Really? If that's the case, witness, please include the statement just now in your testimony. Very well. The moment I saw him, I thought I can trust this person. Now, come on. Now, come on. Now, come, come on. C come on. What are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I would like to go over this one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at the bar, and you took the request at that time. Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy. How many times must I repeat myself? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but this is an impossible tale. What? Shelly the Killer. You have never met the real Adrian Andrews. Huh! What? Why? But why? Why would you say that? Because you made only one very big slip up. About her. So what is the issue? Oh. What, what did you say just now? About her? If you had met Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you that she is a woman. Oh, fu oh, damn. <laughs> Broke the radio. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? This witness testified the following. That he always met his that he always met face to face with his client when they when taking their request. But he has never met Adrian Andrews in person. Yes, Your Honor. That is exactly the point. 
That means Mr. The Killer's client could not have been Miss Adrian Andrews. But <laughs> sweat and oil? Really? That's a lot of oil. Radios don't even have oil. What? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Edgeworth, I understand your logic on this one. However, why would the assassin make such a basic mistake? I believe it has to do with her name, Your Honor. Her name? Yes, Adrian Andrews is without a doubt a very androgynous name. Hmm, yes, I see. Unlikely for Mr. The Killer, the client uh, the entire time he was on the stand, no one had stated Adrian, uh, Adrian Andrews' gender. And so, he simply picked the wrong gender to go with. What? What's going on? Shelly the Killer. This court demands an explanation. Um, I think somehow I must have mixed up the client with another. Uh-uh, you just testify that your memory is crystal, you son of a bitch. So does that mean that you remember something different now? Yes, of course. Please, if you will allow me to testify once more. Ugh, I know he's just gonna spit more lies. Very well, but this time, please give us the truth and nothing but the truth. Caught you slipping. Trying to walk into the salty platoon, you slipped on some ice, and now you're sitting there, Winnie Hut General. Looking stupid. Yes, now remember I took the request by mail. Now come on. Now come on. Now come on. You just testify that you don't do that. Come on, what the hell is your problem? Wait, come on. You take me for a fool? There have been times when I took a job without having met my client. The request was for the murder of Juan Cordea and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at the end of the letter, I thought my client to be a man. Hmm, so you took this job through a letter. He didn't mention anything about a letter in his early testimony, which means he's definitely lying. Be careful, Phoenix. If you break the assassin's testimony completely, it's over for us. I know, I can't make him suspicious, but I think we're okay, like we can do this. As long as he's standing there across from me, and I see that little glint in his eye, I know that I can do anything. No matter how strong of a punch I throw, he'll counter it. Now then, let's begin the cross-examination. Feel the sexual tension that is going in this room between Edgeworth and, and Phoenix. Yes, now I remember. It's at the request by mail. Did you now? But didn't she just say that you always met your client? Yes, I suppose I did say that. However, there's some clients for whom a meeting is simply not possible. But didn't you meet your client this time? No, I did not. Oh, come on now. Let's stop with the game of cat and mouse. Using your using your silkest silkest. What? That's a word. Your silkest voice is not gonna work with me. Silkiest voice. All right then. Just just cough it up and confess, Mr. Wright. You can't badge your witness with such harsh words. He's a murderer. You're a lawyer, so behave like one and present evidence instead of mindlessly yelling. Now then, do you have any proof that Mr. The Killer uh, met with his client? I don't have any proof, son of a bitch. Sorry, Your Honor. Fortunately, I don't have any proof. Hmm, I see. Then your line of questioning was just another waste of time. Sadly for us, Your Honor, this is the nature of right, of right and wrong. <sighs> that wasn't even funny, Edgeworth. That wasn't even funny. You just... You're just an asshole. And why could you have not met certain clients? Recently, I have been receiving more requests. If I meet each and every client, I would lose some nice business opportunities. Nice business opportunities? On top of which, the times have changed. It is now the age of information and computers, correct? Well, I have enjoyed the vic- I have- well, I have enjoyed. I have joined the times, and now take requests via electronic email. Electronic e uh, Electronic mail? Do you have- uh, do you have to mail that in a special insulated envelope? Ah, I'm very sorry. I despise the shortening of words. What I meant by electronic mail is what is commonly referred to as email. Email? 
in a con in a contest of mimicry, the judge would be a parrot hands down. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways, so you took his job without having met your client, and the request for the murder of Juan, two or three more things, ordered the two or three more things, two or three more things. Yes. And what are these other things? A few other things that have nothing to do with this case. You sure about that? I'll be the judge of that. What should I do? Should I let him slide with that? Fuck no. It'd be really bad if I pushed his buttons the wrong way and got him mad. Now press further, tell me. Whether or not they're related to this case is for the court to decide. Mr. Attorney? Yes? Everything I've said from the beginning has been nothing but beneficial to your client. Which is why I wonder what is pushing you to continue with the cross-examination. Could it be that you're planning to betray your own client? That's... I smell the stench of backstabber. And should you turn out to be one... Wait. Uh-oh. This looking really bad. I should impress my luck. Alright, I have to think. Hmm... Damn it. Witness, this is a very important matter. Please cooperate and tell us what the other jobs your, your, your client requested here. If it's truly that important, I suppose I do not have much of a choice. The bear figurine. The bear figurine. After the assassination of the target, I was to find that figurine. I was told that this job, I was told, uh, I was told that this job was just as important as the actual killing. And where was the figurine? It was inside Mr. Cordeo's suitcase. And then, what did you do next? I handed it over to my client right away. You gave it to your client. Interesting. Hmm. This information certainly sounds important to me. Witness, please include what you said in your testimony, as you wish. Alright. Then by that, would... <sighs> Sorry, that was a yawn. Oh my god, that was a stretch and a yawn. That was a long-ass pause. With that, how the hell would the bear end up in Matt's... Matt's, uh, manor, mansion, whatever the fuck. Let's see. Maybe I just use the bear on it, right? Objection. Shelly the Killer, if you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside of it. This item. I see where you're going. Yep. That's where I'm going. Where's everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? Your Honor, please thank, uh, please thank the back to Miss Andrews' testimony. And I was gonna burn it for her sake. If even for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands, I'm sure she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it. Order! Order! So that's where you two are going. So, by the very fact that the suicide note was still inside the bear, it tells us that your client didn't, did not know how to dissemble the puzzle. Which means... It means, Your Honor, that it is impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. Order! Order, I say! Huh. Mr. Phoenix, right. I am sure I mentioned this before. How I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross-examination has clearly demonstrated something to me. You. You must wish to break your end of our agreement. No, that's not. That's enough. If that is your intention, then there's only one thing for me to do. Wait, please. Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. I have a matter that I must attend to. No, please, not that, please wait. Mr. Attorney, 
Bring this trial to a speedy end and I may stay my hand otherwise. Oh. What the? Mr. Wright, are you? Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. I didn't understand this witness outburst just now. Did you think there's need? Uh, do you think need to be here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you think there is a need to hear more testimony? Or is this enough? Well, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. We keep this up. Maya, she'll. Prosecution. I. What has come over everyone? Even you are. The prosecution rest. What's going on around here? The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. What? Well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is the most unusual situation. If the prosecution rests with no further questions, then the prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. If that is the case, then even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate. That would mean that Shelley DeKiller's client is Adrian Andrews. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? If I end the trial, uh, if I end the trial here right now, fuck. Damn it. We can't find one, dude. Then your client, Matt Engard, would be declared innocent. And in his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. Miss Andrews, who would be charged with murder? The prosecution has no further questions, so we will now hear the defendant's final remarks. Bailiff. Please bring the defendant, Matt Ungard, to the stand. The item from uh, the item from the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. We tried as hard as we could, but it looks like our time has ran out. Can't believe it. The outcome now lies in your hands. Oh, damn it, dude! Did the old guy finally decide? To be honest, I can't think that you are truly innocent. Uh, what I can't think of you as a truly innocent and good person. You have done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. But, at least on the charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. <laughs> so, I guess even the old fuddy-duddy figured me out. Mr. Engard. What an, what an atrocious lawyer I have. Given his own client up like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap is just an atrocity, don't you agree? Anyways, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Should I side with justice? Should I save Maya's life? Better get Engard a guilty sentence, okay? But if I did that, Maya will die. But if I say he's innocent, then Miss Andrews will be charged of the murder. Do I say he's guilty or not guilty? If the choice I make, someone's life is going to end. It all hinges on what I choose. Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear the defense's final statements on the matter. If the person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews. Then your client, Mr. Matt Engard, is innocent. Hmm, there's no need to ask, old man. After all, my lawyer is going to say what I want, aren't you? Right? I can't, I can't do this. I'd have to decide something. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. My client, Matt Engard, is... Rest his ass! What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? Matt Engard, your client deserves an answer. Maya, I'm sorry. Matt Engard is... 
God damn it. Francesca. Oh, my heart. Oh. Ow. You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off that scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The final pieces? Do you have them? Ugh. 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 What the hell, Von Karma? You should know better than to act that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Von Karma is perfect in every way. The evidence is here in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine, and his injuries are minor. All the items are inside this. You tucked it inside his coat? What a filthy old coat that is. That's Gumshoe's coat. I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for its ugliness, but there's nothing else to wrap the items in. Whatever, just give him here. I fought so long and hard this whole trial. All for what's inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that the, what's inside the coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your Honor, inside the filthy coat are the defendant's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? This trial is already over. All that remains for me is to hand down my verdict. I do not believe that any evidence presented now would change the outcome of this trial. What? Your Honor, it is our duty to examine on every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Miss Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. I suppose you are right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant permission to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, they will not be accepted by the court. Damn, Francesca, you took your sweet ass time. Now, Miss Von Karma. Would you please? These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm. Must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Three? Oh, that's more than two. I'll take it. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there will be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle. I'm sure of it. This is all we can hope for. First, the pistol. Huh, does the killer pistol have anything to do with this case? Question for more detail. More detail is not needed. I don't think more detail is needed, to be honest. The guy was, uh... The guy was strangled to death, not shot. <sighs> can I only choose, like, one piece of evidence? Or can I question them all? I'm assuming that I can only choose one piece of evidence, but might as well question it. Does this pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case, at least with me. Oh yeah, you were shot! <laughs> the pistol being used to shoot you, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh. I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. You're kinda, you're kinda like, kinda sick and twisted, aren't you? God, I love you so much. I'm sure it will be an excellent, uh, excellent sample for the test. So, this, so the pistol that was used to shoot Francesca is probably not going to help us very much. I'll take it though. So, okay. See now that, mm, see now that's important. That the killer took it from Engard's mansion. Have you checked the contents of the tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Oh, yeah. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. D the killer went back for it? That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. Isn't He injured three of the officers at the site. Are they dead? Well, she did say injured, but you know. Did you just question if the person who whips people is sick and twisted? You're right, I did just question that. No, you're right, you're right, I did question that she's- You know, I, I just, you know, I just, I'm just, I'm in love with her. <laughs> but somehow, it looks like the manage, the, uh, the manage to protect it from the killer. 
so the killer is no ordinary man. The last piece of evidence is the bellboy uniform. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? Oh well, yeah. What's the uh was that used during the crime? I'm almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it, the killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There's one thing I found interesting about this uniform. What's that? There's a button missing on the uniform. Huh? A button missing on the uniform. It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. Hmm. Well, that's... that's interesting. This is all I have to present, Your Honor. Hmm. Just as I thought. And? What is... what is it? Uh, what is... Oh, fuck. What is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we were under normal... Uh, I'm sure... Were we under normal circumstances, these items from Shelly the Killer's hideout would be very important clues. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, where are you going with this? However, our question is not who did the killing. Is it who is the client? Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us anything about that. Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please allow me to examine these new evidence. Overruled. This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? Is this the end? Phoenix? I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make that miracle happen. You've come this far. You can't give up now. But no matter how you think about it, it's... Try. For my sake. Just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of this situation for us. Two. The first... Make Engar wish from the bottom of his soul of, for a guilty verdict. Huh? The killer will always place his client's wish first. Then, if Engar himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. That may be true, but that's asking me to do the impossible. The second way... Force the killer to end his contract with Engar. If the killer were to no longer think of Engar as his client, then he would let Maya go. Mia, that's even more impossible. He's a man who values his duties towards his clients above all else. I know both of these seems like impossible feats at first, but if you can make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. Damn. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he's just shown, he's not accepting them. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what he always... Isn't that what? Oh wow! Isn't that? What, oh uh, fuck! <laughs> Isn't that what has always worked for us? The other side. Wait, does that mean? You mean to turn things around? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case. Then who does need it? The person who needs the evidence. The defense, prosecution, and the judge. We have all seen all the pieces of evidence. That is how we have come to know the truth. But there's one person who has yet to see them. Huh? And that person does not know the truth. That's true. The truth may be what will bring out the miracle in the end. There's no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict. Huh. Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? I have already told you, Mr. Wright. This court does not need any more evidence. I'm not saying it's us who needs the evidence, Your Honor. Huh? Then, you want to show the evidence to that person? 
Huh? Yes, Your Honor. Please, Your Honor. Mr. Wright. For what, uh, for you to ask with permission, I will grant you one chance. One chance. Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. That's impossible to turn the situation around in one try. One try? That is all I will permit. I have to try to remember. Everything that has happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix. Think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking while taking Inkar down at the same time. Now then, Mr. Wright, it's not a way let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show the evidence to? Oh shit. Mm. Damn it! Uh Okay. Evidence. Evidence, evidence. Let's see. More about the killer than the murder. One of the buttons are missing. The gun. Oh. I see. And now? Tell this court what piece of evidence you want to show to this person. Oh, shit. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Ah, uh, fuck. I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Um, I don't have anything to say to this. Hmm. How about you, Miss Von Karma? Well, I was just shot, so... I'm afraid I cannot allow the defense to continue. Yeah, I thought so. What? Yeah, I thought so. No one understands what you're talking about anymore. Yeah. Wait, please. One more chance. That is enough, Mr. Wright. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. Don't you celebrate, you son of a bitch. That is all. The court is adjourned. I thought some weird miracle would happen, you know? Just like that, the case came to an end. I ran away from the courtroom and wandered. Oh, God. Never saw Maya again. All right. We're not even gonna. <laughs> that miracle never happened. It was never meant to. Because. Eh. Has to be, um. Justice ill served. Aww. Oh, makes me feel bad about myself. Alright. Got a trophy out of it. Okay, let's see. Alright, there's one person who doesn't know the truth. Maybe... Pearl. <laughs> Maybe Pearl. She hasn't really been here for most of the trial. You know? Maybe Pearl and the... <laughs> and the bellboy outfit. Not of truth of the killer contains them, though. I highly doubt it, but... Yeah. What about you, Von Karma? Well, I was just shot. <laughs> I'm confused as hell. Um... Let me think. I'm trying to show someone evidence to prove that Matt is the, uh... 
that matters the um what's gonna call it the client how would I Edgeworth, uh, Edgeworth doesn't need to see it. The judge doesn't need to see it. Gumshoe can't see it. <laughs> Let me see. I mean, Power saw the bellboy. Juan's dead. <laughs> Matt can just lie his way through. I don't think she has anything left to do. Adrian, Adrian's in on the no. I don't, I don't think we can call, I don't think we can call the killer over. Oh shit. Someone who's not in the know. I mean, technically speaking, the uh, the assassin doesn't know, so. Huh. I have to remember everything that has happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix, think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking Angar down at the same time. And the Mr. Right, let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show the evidence to? Uh I gotta damn it. I really gotta think about this one. Ow. Alright, let me think. What are the pieces of evidence that we have? Oh shit. I just hit my desk by accident. What is the uh... Let's see. What are the descriptions we got? Mall fired at Francesca. The videotape. The videotape. The videotape help? I mean, we can show, if I'm, if I'm assuming the correct here, we can show, um, we can show, maybe we can show Matt the tape, <laughs> make him feel guilty as we watch Cordea struggle and die. Or we can show it to Adrian, you know, have her freak out. Uh, shit. I really don't, really don't know. I don't think the gun's gonna help at all. I don't... Hmm. The bellboy outfit is missing a button, which is interesting. Maybe someone's holding on to a button. Where would the button be? I... <laughs> I have... I'm really trying to put this together in my head. Fucking... I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> I actually don't get this. Gotta, gotta really think about this. Uh, huh. I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss.
Shit. <laughs> got any... Got any, Anyone got any hints for me? God damn it. I, I'm just like... Things are swirling around in my head right now. Okay. Ow. Hit my fucking microphone. Hints? Yeah, any, any hints or anything? Shit, I don't... Um... I think... We did not see any of the evidence in court. Hmm... I mean, I would, I would assume, I, I would assume, ugh. I would assume it's Shelly, right? He doesn't know what the hell's going on, he just wants the verdict. But he also, he has, he had, ev he had evidence. These all came from him. Who did not see the, any of the evidence in court? Fucking, oh man. I think... I think it would, uh... I don't know. Just, I... I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna try... Maybe... <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> I see. And now... Piece of evidence. Contents are unknown. I mean, did... Now remember, minus two goals are options. I mean, right now, the only, the only thing I can really think about after, like... I'm literally sitting here piecing everything in my head from, like, phase one from what I can remember. And right now, the only thing I can really think about, if you look into the finer details, is that... I believe, it, I don't remember if it actually happened, but I believe at some point, I think Shelly said something along the lines of, of that he took Maya hostage, not because he wanted to, but he had to. And Matt put the spy camera in there. Matt also has a broadcasting room inside his fucking home. But then again, if Shelly, the killer was there, he would have the tape that would have the murder on it. So wouldn't he just get rid of the tape? I don't know why he would need to have the tape if he had access to it. Um... Because the tape can just have the whole murder on it, which can create distrust between both of them. But if he had the tape, why not just get rid of the tape? I'm close? Alright. But if he had the tape, why wouldn't he get rid of the fucking tape? <laughs> I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. My mind is... My mind is being blown. I'm going with the tape. Fuck it. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh-huh. I think there's some merit to showing this evidence to that witness. What? It makes no sense! <laughs> I'm losing my mind here. Why wouldn't he burn the tape? Too much logic. I'm just... So I just overthought the problem? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why would he keep the tape? Ah. Oh.
Matt's been in fucking, he's been in detention center for the longest time. He's been in there for like two to three days now. Fucking two days, I think, actually. And if Shelly, like, it, Shelly has access to the tape. He had it on his person. Why would he need to hold it? Why not just burn the tape? <laughs> I think there's some merit in showing this evidence to the, what the hell? It's like watching fucking Netflix Death Note all over again. He's like, I found the book, and instead of just taking the book, I fucking wrote all this stupid shit in it, and then I took the book after she died. Like, what? You had the book with the paper in it? Just burn the paper! <laughs> My mind! Bailiff Free's brain transceiver from earlier. All right. That's how you managed to convince him. Huh. Maya? She's okay, right? Was that the second thing that he asked him for, maybe? The only thing I can think of right now as to why he wouldn't burn the tape is that he didn't check the tape. And the only way he possibly couldn't have checked the tape, but knew of his existence, is if Matt instructed him to keep the tape safe, but never to look at it. That's the only thing I can think of. Maya, she's okay, right? Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about the speedy end of this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence. Yes, one is all I need. I've heard a videotape. It's found, uh, it was found at your hideout. I heard you injured three officers in an attempt to get it back. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect the videotape. Was he told- did he tell you never to look at the tape? I thought so. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Okay. So, the first instruction of- okay. Protect the videotape. It's what I thought. Now were you instructed not to look at the tape? Do you know the contents of this tape? I was sternly told by my client to not watch it. Okay, that makes sense now. Alright. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that I thought of that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to have a fucking brain aneurysm here. Okay, at least, at least, all right. Makes sense now. So I absolutely have no idea. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? Because, like, in my mind, it's like, wait a minute. If he knew about the video camera, he would have tucked it out. Leave no trace behind. But he didn't know about the video camera. So he left it. But then if he had the tape, why not burn the tape if he knew what was on the tape? He didn't know it was on the tape. He was told not to look at the tape. He was told to keep the tape safe. All right. Woo! My brain. Bam! Exploded. Fucking feel like Jimmy Neutron here. Here's a video camera hidden at the scene of the crime. The actions were being recorded. What? Is that true, Mr. Wright? Who... Who was... Who was it that planted the camera? Well, the only person who could have placed the camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. That was Adrian Andrews. Guess there's some logic in this game? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just... Because in my mind, I'm like, why? Why? It makes no sense. Be quiet and listen, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Client specific, uh, your client specified a place and time for you, is that right? Yes. That was so they could film you. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? Because he did not trust you. I would like to know why. Why did- oh fuck, come on. Don't make me answer any more questions. You just- you just murdered my mind. You just turned it to mush. The reason why he did that is my ticket out of this whole mess. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. He wanted to blackmail you. He didn't trust your skills. No, he wanted to blackmail you. 
Your client once told me something very interesting. We are talking about you, and this is what they said. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. Yes, that's where the video- I completely forgot he even said this. With that, I can keep- I can keep him at bay, and even blackmail him if I want. God, you gotta- you gotta keep this in mind. About, like, what, two days have passed since I last played this? And then we did- this whole trial has been going on since, what, the beginning of last week? Fucking- the fact that I can even remember half this shit is amazing. That's where things of you- uh, that's where- ah, fuck. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. What do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? Oh. He is mad. It looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by a natural. That is the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots on how to use the people around them. To protect themselves from devastation and to unite all people within the nation. They shall announce the evils of truth and love. <laughs> Alright, I just started going to the fucking Team Rocket speech. That is the true nature of your culprit. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us on uh, you told us one thing numerous times during your testimony. You said that you detest traitors most of all. Yes, that's right. But what if the traitor was your own client? Uh, what would you do? And that's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. And then, that client would become my next target. For the honor of the De killer name, even if it takes an entire eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. Oh shit. Oof. I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Ah, uh, I get it. This is how we'll turn this case around. We're gonna murder a guy. Mr. Wright? Yes. My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. What the? I'm not an item. Shut up. Maya, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. God damn it. Hmm. This is try- uh, this trial appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I'm actually sort of- I don't quite know what's just happened with the client and the witness, and- Oh! Miss Von Karma! Where did you- uh, Did Edgeworth whip him? She always has you in her sights. Okay. <laughs> the camera panned over to Edgeworth like he's the one who did it. Now, I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Mr. Ungard, it looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You'll finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime, uh, sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. Wait, he's still getting his acquittal? What about Adrian, though? Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. Hit, help me. Now then, your honor, the verdict if you please. Is this all right with you, Mr. Wright? We have a final- we have finally reached the end of a long battle, I'll fucking say. I'll say we reached the end of a long battle. God damn it. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there's no escape for him now. Come on, Phoenix. Plead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. I pl oh, oh my god, I was pressing the X button. I was about to- oh, oh man. I was about to choose not guilty. Holy shit, why would you make that the first option? God damn it. Woo! Matt and guard. Even though I am a lawyer, 
I cannot make your crime disappear. I think a guilty verdict is appropriate here. Oh my god, I'm spitting hard bars. Me, my wonderful self, g guilty. Even if you get an acquittal, the instance you set foot outside the detention center, your life will be in danger. No matter which way you look at it, you can't run away from your crime anymore. Yeah, but what about Adrian? If he gets the acquittal, then Adrian goes to jail. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. That is... That is not what I expected to see, actually. Phoenix Wright jump scare. <laughs> uh, as always, looking at what we've uncovered... Uh, looks like we've uncovered the truth. We? I don't rem remember help... I don't remember you helping out this much. Mr. Edgeworth, how's Matt Engard? I let Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whip leather right about now. She is just, wow, she's just whoop, pow, getting his ass. Very good. That was a close one, wasn't it, Witness? Yes. I'm sorry, Andrews, you probably hate my guts. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I plan to pay my debt to society in my own crime, Your Honor. The first time I was called to the witness stand during this trial, all I felt was despair. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. I guess she's trying to forgive him for what he did. Yeah, he really went crazy. He said, how should I put this? She is, she has an illness. If you're gonna say you would choose death, that's no concern of me. My man said, I don't care if you kill yourself. I don't care if she's a girl, a baby, or someone's grandmother. I still knock her out. <laughs> Just pulling out a Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, come on. Man, that is one of the best. That is one of the best quotes from that show. Yusuke just going like, I don't care if she's a girl, a baby, or someone's grandmother. I still knock her out. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man, I can never forget that. That was great. But after that, when I was alone at the detention center, that's the first time I really saw myself for who I am. And today, when the two of you used your combined strength to convince Matt, I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm really happy that you two were in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. And this is... This is the first time I felt comfortable with myself with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. It looks like we have resolved everything at least. As for myself, there are still a few things I am confused about. But everyone seems to be in good spirits. And that's good enough for me. That is all. This court is adjourned. Uh... Why do I feel like we're gonna run into the killer again in the future? There's no way we're not gonna run into that guy ever again. Like, the more I go down the Phoenix right hole, the more I feel like... Of course, of course characters will return. But then, also, at some at some point, the judge has to be part of a goddamn... Uh, of a fucking trial. The ju Like, I feel it. I feel like the judge is gonna be, like, a victim of something. Or he's gonna be the defendant or some shit. You were great out there, Phoenix. Huh. <sighs> what I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've, you've not gotten your client off. It's the first time, and it definitely won't be the last. You got them a guilty verdict this time. But, you have to look past all that. To what's really important. You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty. Right? Yes, I understand now. Phoenix? Think back for a second. Think to the moments before Miss Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defendant's final statement on this matter. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice, or should I save Maya's life? My client, Matt Engard, is...
he is guilty, or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then, and your answer, your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. Right. Edgeworth, I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Really? Pearls? You're telling, you're telling us the truth, right Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She's on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. Did you give her some food? Ah, oh, Mystic Maya, she's safe. You did it. You really did it, Mr. Nick. Ow, she punches deceptively hard for a kid. I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. Um, thanks? Oh. What's wrong? Miss Von Karma. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, about earlier. Thanks. Ow! Why are you still smiling? Mr. Phoenix Wright. You, you lost. Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you're still happy? I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you? Don't worry. She, uh, she may in time, after all. I was like that myself until a year ago. At Edgeworth? For my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. I used every dirty trick in the book, and so my win record remained spotless. But a man appeared and stood fast against the selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I have lost everything because of that. And then... It was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. And I was saved by the person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chose death. Heh. <laughs> as well you should have. Prosecutor who has shamed himself with defen uh with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's in office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use everything we can to attack the defense. The defendant, but every time we did so, no matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, the man who holds strong with his undying faith. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. What? You trust your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. A person. Did I just say it like that? Person. <laughs> the truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do to fight with the knowledge we hold. Wait, what? Hold up, did I just. I had a stroke reading that. The only thing we can do to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch. But we will always eventually reach the one single truth. This I promise you. The truth. Yes, that's the reason why prosecutors and defense attorneys exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, Wright? That's why you couldn't forgive me, this man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory, who ran away into the night. Is Mr. Edgeworth right, Mr. Nick? You really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in the things you said to me all those years ago. And you. You betrayed your own words. That's why, one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. 
At least, that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool. Miss Von Karma. I don't want to hear the, wretch, uh, the wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A Von Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect, but you lost like three times already. Shut up. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. You are no longer worthy. So are you. <laughs> you. What? You're no longer worthy of being a Von Karma. And neither am I. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. It's over. It's all over. I just got through something on the ground just now. This is an electromagnetic receiver. The tracker? Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. What? Isn't that Miss Varkama's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. No, she can't be leaving. Come on. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes late to the party. He's like, I just woke up. What happened, guys? <laughs> well, Varkam, uh, Var, why am I saying Var? Von Kam, uh, eh. Von Karma is leaving, apparently. Aw, oh, man. That makes me super sad. You should keep this, right? Okay. Nick! Maya! Mystic Maya! Oh my god. <laughs> Phoenix is like a fucking giant compared to them. <laughs> like in the end of the case, dude? Of course I'm liking the end of the case. I'm liking how my brain has just been crushed by that last piece. Having to put everything together is a pain in the ass. Oh, Nick. I knew you would come through. And it's only been... I, I woke up like three hours ago. Within three hours, I, I saved... I saved the day. I gotta watch the bun. Yeah. Uh... You got Angard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Did they give you something to eat, Maya? Well, of course I did. No, I could never desert you. But we sure impressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just become I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost through Pearly. Fucking your Jedi mind tricks and shit. If you strike me down, I will be with you always. <laughs> like, come on. It's really that easy to do something like that? Even in death, you guys still hang around. Thanks a lot, Nick. Hmm? Don't mention it. Maya? Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. They didn't give you anything to eat, did they? All right. I think it's time we get out of this uh, depressing place. Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick. Food, grub, chow. I'm starved, literally. I'm so hungry, even you look like a nice juicy burger on a bun to me. Is that... is that sexual? <laughs> you think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, bitch. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. Um, if you insist. Alright, so how about we hit our usual burger joint? What about gumshoe? Come on, we gotta give gumshoe something. Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up the awesome evening and got, uh, <laughs> and got in the way of my gourmet food. So I decided that we have to make up by having another feast. Another feast? Come on, Nick. Food! Oh, shit. Hey, Gumshoe. Alright, I'm like, we can't have the feast without Gumshoe. Come on. My man, my man got into a crash for this. 
Hey pal, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Gumshoe, you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole, of all things. A telephone pole? Then it wasn't a red light that got him? You did it again, city boy. I felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. Yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of The Steel Samurai. Thanks. Now looky here, Mr. Snoo Mr. Snooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bully Mr. Right too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it tonight even. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come now. Everyone gather around. You're all getting, uh, wow. You're all gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Photographer? Did I just say photographer? Oh my god. Did I just say photographer? Ah, uh, her dialect is ruining me. Photographer. That's what I meant. <laughs> Looks like Lada's been herself, uh, brought herself a new camera. You couldn't get the old one back? That's a lot of money. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's get some chow now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Amen to that. You know, if you think about it, you were the only ones who saved the day, detectives. Huh? Me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> um, wait. That's odd. When I ran off with these from the killer... Is he gonna be like, I only had one with me? I was sure I took four things in total, sir. Huh? What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Ah, come on, it's over. But who boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped. Between getting accused of murder twice and getting kidnapped. And having your, le your life threatened, you know? Never a dull moment with you, huh? Heh, <laughs> you think? Why does she look so happy about that? Please don't look happy about that. <laughs> but being shut away for two whole days. Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So... Uh, so to keep oh wow so to keep my mind off of things I drew a picture sounds like you had it rough growl so where's the picture of you yeah I want to see it I want to see mystic Maya's picture um you know I don't know where it went oh that's too bad well it's all right it was anything important anyways oh I'm sure it's nice to finally see them both smiling again. Did she put a... Did she put a tracker on Edgeworth? Hmm? What is it, Edgeworth? This thing's picking up something. Oh, that's... That's Von Karma's receiver. Huh? Thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. That's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seemed to be in a different location. Oh, it's probably busted or something. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten way too much, you glutton. I had fun tonight. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait. What? I just wanted to say, thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. Hmm. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me. I feel like words alone aren't enough here. Kiss me, right? Kiss me now. On the lips. I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel. Uh... Thrown away by Francesca von Karma has a certain mysterious nostalgia to it. Here's a gun. Just hand him a gun. You know what? I can give him something. Take Maya. <laughs> or just hand him my attorney's badge. 
um, I guess the whip, right? I mean, what's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mystic Maya. Hmm? Yes, Pearly. I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? Hmm. <laughs> Hand him flowers. <laughs> you and Mr. Nick, I mean. P Pearl? Would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me. Anyways, so who's paying for the lovely dinner party? Uh, huh, not me. As if you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to the- God damn it. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm kind of at a point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. Oh, I forgot, you still lost your job. Oh. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? Yep, I got my situation just like I got me a situation just like that myself because you bought another camera instead of just taking the one that we, we have. There's this camera shop in the hotel, see? I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It better be uh it's better be anyhow for three thousand. Uh huh? Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's all on your tab. What what, what? <laughs> I'm paying for the feast and the camera? Isn't that great, Mr. Nick? Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, you don't need to hold it back now. Yeah, pal, time to let it all out. This is good to be... <laughs> this is gonna be the first time I hear the real you. I would scream. Go on, it's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been, I've been busy, I've been busy being a hostage and all. Alright then, if you say so. And that is justice for all, it seems. Is there a, did they put an extra case in this, like, like the first one? It really came through for me, Nick. I had to hide the letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really felt like I've been living on edge here. I've been, oh, she found the letter. Okay. She found the letter and put it in the bear. Or found the bear and just threw it out the room. Huh. I'm so happy that you could save Mystic Maya and Mr. Nick. I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of which, I think this hotel is a popular place for honeymooners. So, sort of, made reservations for the two of you, just in case- Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, okay! Uh... Thanks? In the DS, you get literally yell objection to the mic. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's a- it's amazing in concept. Well, pal, it looks like I can get back to the force again. Mr. Edgeworth had a long talk with the chief, and it got- Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't pay you, ma'am. Letting one of the good- Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even read that. That long to everything is the only way to live, pal. Okay. I mean, it's good in context, but all the microphone and DS can really pick up is just sound, so you can just be like, <gasps> How do the pearls know how to make a hotel reservation? I don't know. Oh, hey, it's Bird. And retiring the uniform to, oh, wow. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. Oh, really? Bring smiles and joys to the people who come. If she brings bad luck, being a waitress is probably not the best thing to do. You probably, probably spill everything on everyone. I know when I worked in a restaurant, whenever I heard the waiters, uh, oh, I don't even care about this guy. <laughs> um, when I when I heard the waiters would like, you know, if they dropped something, they would come back to the room and be like, "Oh fuck, I dropped the order," and I'll be like, and the whole people in back. First of all, it'll be a mixture of like, of like cheers and hurrahs, like. And then after that, we realize we would have to make the order again, and then we get mad. We'd be like, yeah, she dumped it. It looked like somebody made a fuck up. And then after that, we'd be like, oh, but we have to do the work again. God damn it. 
It's time to begin our quest for a World Circus uh, domination. Serious plan to make a fabulous flight. Hey, Max, what do you think? What do you think Zimbabwe's like? <laughs> so are they getting married? I think there's anything talking to bunnies, even if I'm laughing at most jokes. I want to know if those or those two are actually getting married. <laughs> I actually want to know that. Will they come back in the future? Maybe. Oh, uh, there's Mo, the real MVP. My man, my man really had some had some moments out there. We got a new act worked out, pal. Prepare for the hallelujah. Wait, what? <laughs> Say something, will ya? Supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Start beating him up. I love that puppet. I I want to be that puppet. Minus the hand up the ass, you know. What's this? Drash, just an ordinary electric razor. Can't believe it, really. How long do they plan on making me do this? Uh uh, but it's Poo's idea. Oh shit. What? Why do I get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? Ah, uh, it's never like this, the old days. <laughs> they all call me Queen Wendy. I'm not even gonna read all that. I'm just kinda I'm just trying to pay attention to what they all have to say now. So is there an extra case? Like the last one? Oh. I appreciate everything you and Mr. Edgeworth done for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh that's right, I received a letter from Miss Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I feel free to consult her about anything at all. Oh really? Thankful to have met everyone. That's... That's interesting. Last case in the game. Well, I mean, like... Like, they at Oh, shit. It's become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. May we both be blessed with longevity. I mean, like, I believe, uh, cause, uh, I guess it, it's the DS version of the first game that they added the extra case, and I thought maybe they would add another case because this is the, the, um, whatchamacallit, this is the trilogy, so they just, maybe, maybe they want to add something in here, I'm not sure. Huh? Where are you going, Francesca? How did you know I was here? With this? That's... I heard you were plan- you were planning things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example? Hmm. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy, drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, sir. Four things? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here. It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up. You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Karma's daughter. Francesca. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what, and failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father is a genius. There's no doubt about that, but... But me? I'm no genius. I've already known that. But I... I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but... You're a prosecutor. 
You have been and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I even throw my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always... You've always let me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in my defeat. Bow down in my defeat? I've read that so wrong. The killer's probably one of your favorite characters. <laughs> probably. Uh, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you. You were dependent on your father by using his tactics. Isn't that right? Today, you chased after me. After I've left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But, I have no intentions of stopping. If you say you're going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francesca Von Karma. Huh? Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battles begins now. So you better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, shit. <laughs> that really got me for a moment. One day, someday. I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. Until then. This last piece of evidence that never made it to you. I'll take good care of this fourth piece. So I can give it to you. When at least we meet again. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I'm about to tear up right now. That kind of got me. I'm not going to lie. I'm holding back these manly tears. Huh. Damn. So. That was justice for all. Understandable manly tears. Them some manly ass tears. <laughs> Don't you laugh at this man. Okay, so that. I gotta clear my eyes. Mainly because I got sleep dust all over them. Uh, man, my voice feels way better than it was at the beginning of this damn thing, not gonna lie. Also, I want to point out when I first started doing Ace Attorney, like after like maybe the hour and 30 mark, my voice would like start hurting. Sure, sleep dust. It is sleep dust. I started the, I started the stream late because... I, because my fucking alarm didn't go off. I started like 40 minutes late. Uh, so. 
So I had to like kind of rush and put everything together. And like grab a cup of water, let my dogs outside, you know, all the stuff. But still got the sleep dust on me. But uh, that is Phoenix Riot Justice for All. It's a mix of sleep dust and tears. I, ha I didn't have tears. I did not cry. I was about to. That I will admit, but I did not cry. I held them back. Can't show, can't show weakness in the face of adversity. So, the next one, oh fuck, why did it skip over it like that? Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. That is such a nice title, I like that. But as of now, this is the end of the stream, we're not going to be starting this. Uh, tomorrow, definitely Batman, because I knew I was right to fucking hold off on buying the damn game. Because I can buy it on Steam now for like, what, $5? <laughs> so, tomorrow's definitely going to be Batman. Uh, also, with the Steam sale and everything going on, all of, all of uh, Corpse Party is on sale. So I'm just going to buy that. I'm going to look into Mad Father, because apparently there's a remake of that, I guess. I would like to do that. Now, Corpse Party, we definitely won't be doing until sometime in January. So that's in like, what, four days or something, when January hits? Uh, they remake it. Yeah, apparently this October, they, I believe it's on the same page, but it is a remake, apparently. Um, also... There are some things that I do kind of want to do for February, mainly because of Valentine's Day. For example, uh, I'm looking into Clannad because I have never played it. I've never watched it, and I always wanted to look at it. People told me that it was something that's pretty good, and you know, it's been a it's been a cult favorite for like for uh, <clears throat> for like ten years apparently. So I would like to play Clannad. If you guys are interested in that, because I don't, I don't know. Um, as for White Day Elaborate Name School, we are going to be doing that later this week. Uh, after tomorrow, after tomorrow when we do uh, Arkham Origins. What else is there? As for Phoenix Wright, I want to say maybe, uh, I want to say we'll start it in like, uh, it depends. Honestly, it depends. I would like to uh, finish. I'd like to finish Arkham Origins before January, but if we somehow manage to do all that tomorrow, or maybe this week, then we can do Phoenix right and move on with that when we go into January. Uh, what else is there? There's a bunch of there's a bunch of like games that are on sale and shit on Steam, and I'm trying to like pick out which ones I really want to do. And which ones I... What, what, let me see, actually, let me check right now. What the fuck do I have in my cart? <laughs> so I can say what I have, like, in mine at the moment. I'm gonna open up, uh... I'm gonna open up Steam real quick. Steam, open up, baby. Where is my cart? <laughs> I barely buy things on Steam. How do I, how do I get to my stupid-ass cart? Um, let's see, there we go, my cart. What do I have in my cart right now? I have all of Corpse Party, Clannad, and Mad Father. Uh, there were some. There's like a bunch of shit that's on um, that's on sale. So I have to like kind of sift through it and see which ones, uh, which ones will be suited for. Which ones that you guys will possibly be interested in. I'm not sure. Maybe we can talk over it tomorrow. During the Batman stream. Like at some point we can just kind of take a break. And just like sit down and go through it. Because there's there's so much on sale. It is fucking ridiculous. God. it It's both amazing. And it pisses me off royally. Because I can't buy all that shit. But. Until then. That's going to be it for tonight. Uh, really like to see Mad Father? Well, it depends on, it depends on how things go, because 
Sam and Clannad do. I really want to play Clannad, but I want to wait until like, I want to wait till like Valentine's Day because it's a love story apparently, I guess. Like, I assume it's a love story, but people keep telling me it's super sad, so I don't know. I really don't know. Um, with Madfather, I have to think, because either, either we go into Corpse Party, uh, after, after, um, after we're done with the Labyrinth Name School, White Day, either we go into Corpse Party or we go into Madfather. And once we go into Corpse Party, I want to keep going until we f until we catch up with the series. Um, kind of like with Phoenix Wright. Those are going to be like a regular thing I plan on doing. Um, because I only have like five nights throughout the week to to stream. So, um, what else is there? What else is there? I felt like there's something else I needed to say. Oh yeah. So apparently, when I right before the stream, when I logged in. Apparently I got a message from Twitch, even though, even though from what I've seen in the statistics, they didn't, they didn't give it to me, but Twitch sent me a message. Apparently I'm, I am, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ugh, I'm eligible for affiliation. So I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, if it's possible, if it's, I don't know how affiliation really works. If it's possible, I would like to be able to put up, um, some emotes without having people to sub for the shit, but I'm not even sure if that's possible. But I'll, I'll I'll look into it. I would like to have like at least something for people to use. Um, and then you know, down the road in the future, hopefully I can just uh, look into a bunch of other things, try and see what I can get uh, for the emotes. For the emotes, I know I know of someone who I can definitely call on to do those commissions for me a very trusty person that I that I frequently like to talk to when 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 the chance arises uh, also I did say I would like to do an RPG at some time in the future <laughs> I really I really want to do Final Fantasy 7 but I don't think that's gonna be I don't think that's gonna be a smart idea because <laughs> everyone plays Final Fantasy 7 I'm also looking into 3ds gameplay capture so I really like Zelda. I would like to do Zelda. It's not an RPG, but Zelda's fun. Like right as of right now, I'm trying to see if I can get everything to go without crashing on like uh the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time. Even though I prefer Majora's Mask myself, but I know there's a lot of things. A lot of things I'm looking into. Uh but if we do Zelda, if I do Zelda, it has to be. There's no way to play Zelda without going for 100%, right? Am I crazy? You kind of need to get all the heart pieces and shit. That's, it wouldn't be a Zelda game without that, you know? Um, but I think that is everything. I'm going to try and see, because the way I rendered these out, it takes a while for these to render. So, as of right now, all the Corpse Party stuff is on the YouTube, but I'm going to try and see if I can get all the other stuff uh, up by the end of this week. For uh, last week, for like, uh, what did we play? For White Day, Batman, and and Phoenix Wright. There's a lot of Phoenix Wright that I got to get in there. Um, And I think that is it. It takes a while for, uh, it takes a while to, um, to do, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> To edit it all and have it mainly the rendering. The rendering's the rendering's a big pain in the ass. It is. It takes forever. 1080, 60 frames. Um. And I'll probably look into some persona because I'm not sure if I want to make that a let's play or if I want to stream it. Because I have to redo that. Because <laughs> I did not like the old playthrough. But as I think about all this shit and how I'm gonna burn my money away on futile efforts this is going to be the end of the stream so as always i thank everyone who showed up to watch live or or watching the vods um to people on youtube if you're watching this and you want to watch live there is the schedule in the description also on the twitch page all that jazz gotta fall asleep wake up in like three hours of work oh trust me i know the feeling um and then, I think that is it. For people on YouTube, if you're watching this, 
and you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. And if you are subscribed, hit the notification bell. That You have to say that, even though I sound like a fucking tool when I say it. And I think that is it for everything as of now. So again, tomorrow night is going to be Batman Origins, Arkham Origins, the Steam version. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't crash or anything like that. And it runs at 60 frames and it doesn't lose its shit. But until then... As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.